three, go. Gosh, that is such a great title. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You, you hit it out of the park there, dude. I know, I'm on it today. <laughs> True story. You already started out on fire. Oh boy, this sounds a little, like the game sounds a little bit loud even to me. Uh, let me see here. Audio volume. Let's try comfortably loud. <laughs> Some great words that they've got in there. <laughs> All right, ev uh, everybody. So this is the fo uh, the follow up for for Return of the Ogre Den. If you missed the first uh, the first one, it, we are basically a claims adjuster for the East India Trading Company, trying to figure out how all of the people in the Merchantman Obra Din met their their sorry, sorry fates. Spoiler Captain alert, most it. of them died. So, yeah, we've got uh, got an entire Scooby-Doo gang uh, gang here uh, here with us. First up, we've got Book Thief. Greetings! I played the captain for everything. Yeah, that that is that is a legitimate way to end this. Uh, we also have Gose. Hello, and by the way, the reason why I missed last time out, someone stole my TARDIS. Pretty good reason. Uh, and then yeah. back again, we also have Mion. I'm here. We've got also got Neo. Hello. Pop Tarts. Yo. Oh. And uh, <laughs> since Robokai ha has to be at work to uh, today, the uh, guy I I've got to to lord over knowledge of everybody is uh, Zarbala. Howdy. All right. So I'm apparently a little bit loud. This is eminently fixable. Turn that down a little bit. All right, <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. And there we go. That should be that should be pretty good. Keep giving uh, giving me feedback in the stream chat if uh, if the sound needs adjusting. And then beyond uh, beyond that, we have area two here. We have area three because uh, because I, I introduced this to, uh, to one of my uh, my other buddies and he like he. He he went insane with this game pretty much exactly as quick as you guys uh, you guys did. Like it was so it was like freaking like freaking catnip. This dude. Well, the the uh, giant octopus does make a really strong impression. Right? He, it does. he actually he actually uh, didn't pick up on it as, as quickly as I thought. Like, like is he, it just me or does the video seem like it's not filling the whole video window? Uh, yeah, so that's a thing that, that that's happening because OBS is a little bit of a jerk, and I will mention it right, uh, right now, like, it's a little bit distracting, but ultimately I'm going to have to fix up all of these vi uh, these videos to add subtitles and, and make it a little bit more punchy and basically turn it into a proper Let's Play after the fact, right? So... I could work with OBS for an hour to try to fix it and make my overall process of fixing the the entire thing a lot harder, or everything could just be a little bit crappy on the stream and make my I make my job of making this a, an amazing product a lot easier actually. So hope you hopefully you'll forgive me for doing the latter. It's all right, man. You're good. Oh yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, we just did a, che a checkpoint before before we um, ended last time. So I but I need to double check where we should be going now. We have murder. We have the calling. Do we have unholy captives? Yes. Soldiers of the Sea Doom bar uh, bargain escape. Okay. So we need loose cargo and a bitter cold. Those are the only two chapters we have left before uh, before we have all of the data that uh, that we we are ever going to have, and uh, those are two very short chapters. We're gonna start with um, we're gonna start with loose cargo. Or wait a minute, no, there's one particular one that I'm pretty sure we haven't done, which is figuring out how a certain colossal badass in, Sol in Soldiers of the Sea went out. So uh -huh. it's dead people time, everybody. Oh shit! Yo. Oh, yeah. oh damn! When I said colossal badass, I meant colossal badass. 
Isn't that the same guy who said, uh, here, catch through an axe? Uh, that uh, guy is dead as hell. That guy died. <laughs> yeah, no, like, they they both did a good job, but they're all both also fucking dead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. I'm getting a little you. feedback from uh, from one of y'all. Could you please uh, please check your uh, check your your volume levels on your side to ma make sure that I'm not echoing is, back? Is it me? I don't. I don't, I don't believe think it's so. Me. I'm not certain okay. who, uh, who it is, but I am getting a little bit of feedback. Also, yes, I am fixing the whole, uh, the whole. This stream reports that it is Neo right now. Just a moment. Oh, that here. that guy's getting parried by a crab over there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he got parried countered. Oh. Okay. Cool. Just fix so... it. All right. <clears throat> so the decedent was uh, was the one who yelled, "Is that all?" Um. And five others were pre uh, were present, but they were mostly just watching him get his get his shit kicked in. Now it is possible to uh, to uh, figure out who uh, who this guy is right now, but the uh, set or the hints that uh, that you got were so uh, were so far back that you might need a refresher. I've been watching the stream for like the past week, so I think I could figure. It out. <laughs> okay, well, um, you did, you did, uh, uh, you did hopefully. link this to a, to a, a, a somebody who uh, who said here catch. This guy, this guy was in that memory. Uh, let's yeah. bookmark his uh, his memories, shall we? Oh yeah, he he called out somebody's name, didn't he? Uh, the dude, the dude who said here catch. Uh, yeah, I think so. Just a moment. Let's let's review that because this is Marcus Gibbs, and what the way that actually went is somebody yelled a demon in French, and out of the way, beat to quarters, enemy aboard, and then Marcus yelled, "What's going on?" Someone told him, "Stay back. It's already done for Nick," and Marcus said, "Come on, boss. No, get down." And then Marcus said, "Hey, uh, hey catch." That must be the carpenter then. Okay, let's um, give that a shot. Okay, and uh, da, 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 Winston Smith, and he was Claude. Turns out that was correct. Yay! Nice. Yeah, because we identified the other guy just by the accent. Nope. Yeah, and Mar Mark or Winston also has an American accent. If you listen yeah. closely when he says, "Is that all?" That, oh. That's why I connected him to the here cat. Okay, I need to figure out which one uh, one of you guys is echoing because it's seriously gonna get uh, gonna get distracting. Mm -hmm. Uh, go say I think it's you. Actual, actually, I'm gonna need to. No, you uh, you need. Yeah, you. it's definitely you. You need uh, you need to uh, to check your microphone settings, my guy. Oh, we got some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we had we actually had two when 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 we left off last time. Because you identified the nerd. Uh, yeah. You the the two the two that we let uh, we, uh, we left off on were was the other uh, the other woman who's alive in Africa, and Henry Evans, who is the surgeon, obviously. Nice. nice. And yeah, that that crab rider might have had a face. Uh, not really a big deal now, cause Winston was, uh, was just like, "This is a blunderbuss, and your ass is grass." Okay. I died so... as I live, firing upwards into women. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in crabs. <laughs> Covered in crabs. Oh, no. Also a good one. Fire. Also oh. a good one. Oh no. Actually, I think back then technically it'd be scabies. That's what they had on the open seas. Uh, you're, you're, you are definitely the authority on that one. I knew someone who had scabies, and it was disgusting. And I told them thus. As well, you should have, because it sounds disgusting. Who just who contracts scabies in 2016? The same people who <laughs> uh, who developed scurvy in uh, 2016, which is actually that's a thing. That's super super fair. Yeah, that's actually yeah. a thing. Um. Anyway, so that was technically a checkpoint, but we had only done uh, done one thing. So we'll we'll do a checkpoint after uh, after falling cargo. Dead people. Sorry, dead really people time. I forgot to mention it. Oh, 
Oh. That just happened. He just got outsmarted oh. by some barrels. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was on, like, Donkey Kong. Literally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the incorrect form of a barrel roll. Oh, hey, it's that guy that's yeah. standing in front of the thing. Wow, it's the guy who could care less that someone just got murdered by barrels. <laughs> hey, man, Hawk Sang Lao has his duty, and he is sticking to that duty. His yeah. duty is to not care when people die from barrels. Stand there with a, with a spear no matter what happens. Well, as long as the barrels don't threaten his boss. <laughs> yeah. Just another day on the job. Another day in the office. That's just one less person who could possibly threaten the person he's guarding. Well, just the thing, we actually know what's in there. Up. Okay, loose cargo. So, surprisingly enough, the uh, thing that, uh, that we just investigated was not actually a crewman. That was a stowaway. Oh! Oh, oh. oh so that's our unknown? Yeah, so that well, that's that's somebody who is an unknown. But because it was a stowaway, it automatically fill uh, fills in the fate, and we don't actually have to do anything with it. So, so huh. were they hiding in one of the barrels? Yes, he was literally hiding inside of the barrel, and when the when the barrel fell, he was crushed inside of it. Well, that's, that's what he gets. <sighs> we do, however, get to use his body as a jumping off point into the per the crew member who was actually killed. Oh, good. The stowaway was useful. <laughs> this just leaves the weird mental image of springboarding. Uh, I, I can I can barely I can barely hear uh, hear you now, Gose, uh, Gose, and uh, there is still a fair bit of echoing. If you've got headphones, I would recommend that you put them on, bro. All right, all right, all right. And Dead people time. Died of a heart That's happening. Ooh. It's happening, and it's not comfortable for anybody involved. <laughs> that one go. guy's really feeling it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Just he has his, both his hands up like, yeah! He's having a great time. Hey, check it out. There's, there's, the speaking, of, uh, speaking of people who couldn't give less of a crap, there's Brennan just, uh, just sort of like, yep, that's a barrel. Barrel falling on some dude's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my head. Okay, so the decedent did not say anything in that that particular passage, uh, but the game thinks that we should be we should be able to identify this guy. And the reality of the situation is we're not going to get a whole hell of a lot more clues as to who he is, <laughs> because it's literally the first page of the first chapter. So I'm going to put in that he was crushed by fallen cargo because obviously he was. Yeah, that that, that I I think I'm That's willing fair. to go out on that that sort of limb with you guys. Yes, crushed by fallen cargo by a terrible beast. <laughs> by, a terrible <laughs> by the captain. Well, he qualifies as a terrible beast because he did go full Rambo. True story. Uh, so do we want to try to identify this uh, this guy uh, this guy right now, or do we want to wait on that because we can always uh... come back. I don't know. The worst part is it's been a week. Yeah, yeah. Like I like I said, like there's there there was there were a few clues that I showed off in there, but you guys have it, like it said, it's been a week. You guys have ha have have had a lot of things fade from your memory. So if we if we get hung yeah. up on this guy, I will go back to uh, to the relevant uh, the relevant scenes, and we'll keep going forward. Bertato Time says Goaty 2018. I cannot argue with that. Like, I've had so much what fun if with this game. Later on, would they have had, like, a, a funeral or something for that dude? Or Oh, uh, maybe, but would, uh, would we would we get a hold of that, considering how our pocket watch works? That's true. Uh, 
We I don't might. know. If somebody died during the funeral. If somebody, somebody died, died during, during the funeral, funeral, then yeah, maybe. <laughs> Which, Which honestly, not unlikely. <laughs> this boat's dropping people left and right. It wouldn't shock me. I mean, it's worth noting it that, right. uh, that like yeah. this this entire thing happened while they were still in port, London. So this this started out bad. Did he even wait? If they're still in port in London, does that really count as like? Shouldn't we already know what happened to him? Uh, you would think that the port authority would authority would have have some sort of record of this, yes. Yeah. You would think. They're uh, the, they're Cornwall. like the Vogans from uh, oh hitchhikers. They yeah. like to have the first spot. You know? All right, so that's a quick checkpoint. We have uh, we haven't gone uh, gone through that much, so I'm I'm going to flip through this really quick. Murder. That guy is still is still fuzzed. Still fuzzed. Still fuzzed. This gen uh, gentleman isn't any easier. Uh, fuzzed. Fuzzed. Unholy captives. That guy is just as hard as he ever was. <laughs> uh, still fuzzed. Still fuzzed. Skibs. Fuzzed. 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 Yep. Okay. Never mind. What did I miss? Uh, you're sound. You're sounding better, and you miss. You missed falling cargo, which means you bet you made. You lost one guy get, uh, getting crushed by cargo. People don't know who he is, and that's fine. We'll come back to it. Does have a beard. He does have a beard. That is important. All right. So I we have now one more chapter before we have filled out all of the things that we can, and this one is interesting because it starts out with a cow skull. Ah, oh. huh. Dead people time. Let her hear. One switch. Get through the skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> <laughs> Never been on a farm, Chuck. Find your shoes now. <laughs> oh, so it was a cow that they killed. Yeah, they killed the cow. Do we have to know what the cow's fate was? No, the cow is not on the crew manifest, so uh, okay. it, it will it will fill cow. that one in for you. Devoured in the cap. <laughs> that guy's Charlie. Decapitated. All right, so that man. guy's Charlie. Yeah, the dude, the dude who's throw who's throwing up got uh, got addressed as Charlie. I like how this pocket watch can see through time, but Port Authority was still like, somebody died, we don't know who it was. <laughs> more like they don't give a crap. I, I still maintain oh, the Vogue is shocking. We only care if everyone there dies. Is that a monkey? What? That is yeah. a monkey! Yeah, Gibbs has a, a monkey. monkey. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh. What, What's what? going on here? Uh, that may or may not be the subject of our chapter, called A Bitter Cold. Ah. It's a plague victor, eh? I'll let the game speak for itself. It anyway, yeah, the, the... This part is simply, a large cow was slaughtered for its meat. And, you know, like, like it, gives, it gives you a lot, a lot of hints as to who various people are. Someone needed a sandwich. There was a monkey. All right then. Now let's get to actual crew member and people who were dying. Ready. Oh, good. We're having a seizure. That means we're ready. <laughs> I mean, consi uh, considering how one bit this uh, this thing is, I could totally see it give, uh, giving someone an epileptic seizure in the wrong wrong context. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We got a dead dude now. <laughs> Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Not consumption. Made worse by the cold. Did it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Lasker house. I checked all hands just now. Never was a suspect. I didn't. <laughs> 
get his job done. I gave him some love. We'll see. Well, Laudanum hardly know him. Not very good. But we already knew who Henry Evans was. Yep. Yeah. And for what it's worth, Apple consumption League. is tuberculosis. In case you guys aren't, aren't familiar with its archaic name. <laughs> that guy's just leaning back like, hey. <laughs> he's, oh, he's like, I just work here. Monkey! Yeah. Monkey's still hanging around. Monkey. monkey, 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 monkey. Yeah, they gotta mummify him and then ship him to Skyrim so they can turn him into one of those Draugr. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Todd Howard, you've done it again. Much. It's the oh, only Lord. way they can have enough of them. There's millions of those things in there. Just picture that watch in one of those tombs. Why is there a you monkey, Brittany? A Brittany Disher asks. That is a fantastic question. Be very interested to hear the answer. Does. That monkey's given everybody the consumptions. The monkey is cursed. So we it, the game doesn't think we can identify him yet, um, so. but we do have illness as a uh, as a cause of death. So I'm going to take the liberty mm -hmm. of you know filling that in for you because he did. He had the one. wheezies. Yeah. Uh, worth uh, knowing, no the decedent did not say anything in this scene. Okay. And, yeah, that's well, basically yeah, it's, it. It's hard to talk when you're coughing your lungs out. Uh-huh. Only thing he said that's is... Like lovely. Okay, so, now, let's take a look at what this mummified dude is all about. Yeah, let's go get to the mummy. So, should we kill the monkey and get a monkey paw? That is Man, a fantastic a question. It, if a monkey paw is cursed, answer. if a monkey paw is cursed, how cursed must the entire monkey be? <laughs> with fleas or without? I'm gonna say with because they already have crabs. <laughs> dead people say dead people time now. <laughs> oh. So this guy also, so he was Chinese. What? Really? <laughs> you think the name Syed is Chinese? Wait, what What language were they speaking? A variety. Not Chinese. <laughs> Listen, I only know one language, and that's freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Explosions, then. freedom. <laughs> Yeah, that guy super doesn't care. <laughs> really There's uh, a couple, a couple of dudes over here just playing cards. All right, so Saeed, is that like Persian or Middle Eastern or? You know what? How about how about we check the crew manifest here uh, here in a moment? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I mean he said Saeed, so we know who he is. I'm pretty sure there was a Solomon Saeed somewhere down there. It's, yeah, it, it's fun. It's funny the the memory Neo has sometimes. Yeah, I like, I like how half of us are like, well, we saw this and this and this, and then half of us are like, that dude's an asshole. It's this guy. That's must. That may very well be the reason why I have all of you here instead of just one of you. <laughs> anyway, that's so, why we're solving it so fast. So Neo, Neo is right. There is a Solomon Saeed on the uh, on the the crew manifest. Oh, Indian. Yeah, yep, he yeah. he's he's Indian, and he like I said, Chinese tragic illness, and Syed did not say anything, Acceptable. but his his compa <laughs> his compatriots said other things to him, and yeah. then there was also another la uh, language be uh, being spoken, talking about cheating, Russian. right? Which means that it looked like Russian. All of the people yeah. at the card table were probably the Russians. 
So, which also explains why they don't care. There was <laughs> there was one there was one other hint that I showed I showed you guys there that completely reveals who the other gentleman who died of illness was. Um, and I will give you a hint at the end of the the stream la uh, last time. Fuka Ayase said she'd be terrible at this game because she wouldn't remember any names or anything like that, but she would remember where they were in the uh, in the crew manifest. Ah. That is an incredibly important hint, and after after we uh, come out of here, I'll go back into Sa uh, Syed's um, scene so you can try to process that a little bit more. Oh, 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 it's the, uh, the number on the hammock isn't it yeah oh is, do, do yeah. they have numbers uh, huh yeah. yeah wow that's a thing we just noticed Typically. oh no I've known that since last time <laughs> oh. Hey. oh 51 52 so that's that that's a very interesting observation to make those hammocks have have numbers on them now we have to go and creep around on people in beds. Now we have to watch every single other one that had a hammock in it. So if we're if we're going with that uh, with that, then the then number fifty one would be Renfred Rajub. That there sounds pretty Indian. Yeah, no, he was he was totally yeah. an Indian dude. Okay, so uh, that ra uh, wraps up at, that wraps up that, and I'm just gonna close the book real quick. And there's a few lines of dialogue for you. You guys start talking when you get back in. Oh, hey. Finish your business. Yeah, storm's coming. Oh, crap. Yeah, that so guy just basically oh, all that crash. means is that if we go if we go above decks now, it started to rain. This is this is basically the game tell, uh, telling us you've seen everything there is to see on the Overdin, and uh, you can now leave the ship. And okay. but the thing is, if you leave the ship, you don't come back. So you need to have 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 your your shit taken care of before you leave the ship. I'm sure oh. we'll get to the shock value once we figure <laughs> out exactly what's happening. Well, yeah. So basically, we have now seen everything that we're uh, we're going to see here. Okay. So we now need a need to go figure out who or what is where. So have we seen every flashback? We've seen every flashback. We can revisit them uh, freely. So anytime we get stuck, we can go, we can go back and look uh, look at something. But every single fate that we have left in this in this book is now important for we now need a need to handle all of that. Uh, yep. All right. So Who among well, us does not love cross referencing. Uh, the story so far, Brittany, is that um, we have to figure out why everybody, how everybody died on this boat, and we're almost halfway through figuring out how everybody died on the boat, and also there were sea monsters and a curse. Captain uh, did it. <laughs> Captain did it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, to, uh, since since we apparently have I'm more uh, more people beast. new in the stream than uh, than I thought, I'll go ahead and review for uh, for everybody. Uh, we are a insurance claims adjuster for the East India Trading Company, and our job is to come uh, come out here and figure out how all of the crew members died, or alternately did not die, so the East India Trading com uh, Company can basically process all of the insurance claims. In addition to that, a gentleman named Henry Evans has uh, has asked us to chronicle all of this and provided us with the journal that we're using and the pocket watch that allows us to warp back to the moment of somebody's death. And oh, sorry. the story so far, as far as we as we can piece it together, is we ha we start out with loose cargo. So in London, there was a loading accident that had this gentleman or this guy die. 
and that went off to a bitter cold which is you know maybe a week a little bit more out of loose cargo and then a whole bunch a couple of people got a mysterious a mysterious lung infection that apparently was not contagious next up we have murder which just off the canary islands we had a murder ha uh, happen where the second mate Edward Nichols knifed Nunzio Pasqua, a a Italian um, passenger, to try to steal some very shiny shells that he thought were, was really valuable. Uh, one of the Formosans or Taiwanese on board, Hawk Seng Lao, got blamed for the murder and was executed at sea, which eventually be, uh, became one of uh, one of the artist sketches that uh, that we use to identify people. Um, the, the second mate then mutinied, stole a, bun, a, a couple of a couple of lifeboats, and killed this unknown soul on the way out. And that leads directly into the calling, which has the second mate's expedition being ambushed by some terrible beasts that, for lack of a better term, were using mermaids. That started murdering the mu uh, the mutineers and trying to re uh, to retake a strange chest that they had stolen um, as part of the as part of the the attack one of the formosans Ithangsia, opened the chest which was filled with some sort of magical quicksilver and it burned him to death and then it also either killed or knocked out all of the the um, the mermaids and without his crew he couldn't uh, the second the second mate couldn't get away from the Obra Dinn. so he basically pulled on the, uh, the mermaids and tried to buy his way back onto the ship chio tan the last remaining formosan guard saw what uh, what was on the ship and just immediately wasted nickels he knew exactly what had happened um and we had a couple of disappearances. Unholy captives. In response to having uh, having the mermaids taken out, a couple of crab soldiers, for lack of a better term, attacked the uh, the Obra Dinn. And or no, wait, I'm sorry. Unholy captives is just uh, just the the mermaids being taken below decks, and it one of them killed the cook by striking him with her tail, which, you know, lends the idea that at least some of them weren't completely dead. Um, and then as then at the end of that, the captain's steward went nuts and said, uh, said that those, those beings were cursed and they should be let go. And he ended up killing uh, one of the seamen doing that. Soldiers of the Sea. In, re uh, in response to the mermaids being captured, some crab soldiers, for lack of a better term, boarded the ship and started killing all sorts of people. They were eventually killed by, uh, by the crew, but not after they, uh, they took a lot of lives. The Doom. Again escalating, the instead of crab soldiers, an entire fucking kraken showed up and started screwing up the ship. And he killed, it killed an amazing number of people. Like, it, it has, it has the, the single best body count in the game. Uh, then Bargain, we don't know what happened here because Henry Evans is keeping that, uh, that part secret until we finish with the, we finish in the Obra Den. Uh, so we don't know what happened in Bargain yet. Escape. A couple of, day, of, of days, like, after Soldiers of the Sea and all of the things that, that have happened, the Oberdin turned around. It was supposed to go all the way to Asia, and they, ha they hadn't even made it around the Cape, of, uh, the Cape of Good Hope yet. So they were just like, screw this, we're heading back to, uh, to London. And a couple, of, a couple of people thought there was no way they were going to make it, that the ship was still cursed. So they went to steal a lifeboat. And... Some nonsense. Uh, some nonsense happened there. A couple. A couple of people interpreted that as another mutiny, and more people. Uh, more people died in the crossfire. Uh, but we do know that at least one lifeboat got out. Two female passengers, Henry Evans, and this guy, whoever he is, 
made it to Africa. And then with the end, basically the imagined mutiny became a real mutiny by William Hoskett, the first mate, who attempted to steal the shells from Captain Witterell. Captain Witterell went on a ridiculous killing spree and demolished three people before being the last man left on the ship and killing himself. That is the entire story as we've been able to figure it out thus far. Now, we need to, fi uh, we need to figure out how everybody met their unfortunate ends. So His brother-in-law, the first mate. Yeah, his brother-in-law was the first mate. That is a true story. Yeah. So the There's one I want to go back into particular, and that is with the Doom. Sure, we can go back to the Doom first. Uh, who did you want? Uh, did you want to look into? Uh, the one guy that got blown up with the powder keg. Powder keg? Yeah, <laughs> that could be good. The... Yes. Okay. I feel like maybe we should try some of the one or two triangle dudes. Yes. Just so we can narrow down the three triangle dudes. You generally would want I would want to do that. So we can we can head uh, head back to that scene. I'll I'll go back to it right, uh, right now so you guys can see it again, and then I know exactly with uh, which other scene has a huge hint for uh, for who that guy is. So if you can't figure figure it out from uh, looking at that, then we'll go to that scene. Yeah, I think I got a pretty good idea of who that guy might be in relation to a later chapter. <laughs> oh dear, which of these huge corpses is that guy? Yeah, that dude. <laughs> he died in the torgiest way possible. Tor -tor. So but, I'm, uh, I, I've already um, zoomed, uh, zoomed in on the two, uh, the two people who were most important in, in this, this scene. I'm now going to wander around for a little bit and let you guys ask me questions. Yeah. See that guy that got stabbed in the back? Yes, I think that was. And what I was going to get to was just mention something about... I tried to pull back Peter, but I couldn't. Uh, that is that is exactly the hint that I that I was going I was going to give you. Yes, this is the gentleman who who ended up getting stabbed in the back, and he said, "Tell Pete's mother, I tried to pull him back. I tried to save him." So that's Pete. Yep. Who is Pete? The guy the guy getting blown the fuck up? I think yeah, so. Pete's yeah. Exploded. Okay. You know what Pete rhymes with? Explosions. Everything rhymes with explosions when uh, when we're <laughs> playing. Okay, so oh, this unknown boss, soul boss, is no Pete who? Let's let's see here. We have a Peter Milroy from England. Let's see if we have anybody else. Uh, no, he is the only Pete aboard. So, there you go, Peter Milroy. That well, seems pretty... Uh... More fates correct, gentlemen. Hey! Sweet. Hey! That was indeed Peter, uh, Peter Milroy, one for Gose. Hey! Yep. Uh, Solomon Syed, we knew that one, and then Renfred Raj, uh, Rajub, the man we uh, we identified through his cot number. Well, there we go. We're what halfway there? Close to. Yeah, I think we are halfway there. Uh, it, it's e it's either right under or right uh, right there. So yeah, that's thirty out of sixty. Cool. Well, um, do we have a uh, any other any other requests, or should uh, should I guide you a little bit? Um, let's, which chapter has the least, has the most missing? The most like missing. Like, the most that we don't know. Uh, Soldiers of the Sea is up there, if it's not the best one. We have one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, six. And one of them- if people died them... during Soldiers in the Sea and they're caught, we might be able to just get a couple by seeing that. 
Well, we've got we've got thought, a couple but... we've got a couple here. Yeah. We have one gem- a gentleman who's ostensibly a a one star or a, a one thing. So let's let's bookmark his memories and see where he first showed up. Oh, so he first show, uh, showed up in a bitter cold when they were slaughtering the cow. That must be Charlie. Oh. Never lived on a farm, Charlie. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, that's gotta yeah. be Charlie. It's, uh, Going one, downtown, Charlie Brown. One uh, one arrow usually means that you have a you have a uh, a name attached to it. So let's see here. We have Charles Minor, a bosun's mate from France, and then Charles Herstick. A midshipman from England. Which Charlie do we think this is? Um, Charlie is not a French nickname. I'd say the Englishman. Yeah, I'd probably say the yeah. English. Done. Okay, so then we have another two two uh, arrows right here. This... Wait, was there a guy who's actually named Davy Jones? Uh, let me check that for you. I don't think that's a thing. I think... Did I just see that wrong? Really close. <laughs> Davy James. Good call. Oh. <laughs> Davy James is footlock. I'm a little sad. That oh. that is that is really close. That is really close. There's an unknown oh. midshipman. Uh, the uh, the unknown officer, steward, what uh, whatever. That's that's just supposed to be no, uh, note taking for you. Yes. Ah, uh, gotcha. So like like that those are those are all those are all just things like, okay, I know this guy is a topman or something like that, but I don't know exactly which topman. Anyway, so you guys should be able to that to figure this cat out. Let's bookmark his memories. Um and get a good look at him in underway. So here he is. We know he was spiked. Okay, and let's check his first memory. He was also present when the cow was slaughtered. I mean, is that I know the, is that the ship's there. cook? He's got a cup. We already well, have we already have the cook, but the but the ship did have a butcher. Uh yeah. 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 Was he and present he's during? An uh... He's got an apron on. <laughs> was he present during where? That when they killed the cow. Yes, that is the first time we saw uh, we saw that particular character is during the during the cow killing. Yeah, probably the butcher. Yeah, that's. Butcher. The butcher. I bet he was the one directing things there. And okay, so we think he's the butcher. Come on, here he is. All right. Yeah, email O'Farrell from Ireland. So. What's next? What's next? Do we have another another Ooh. another two slot here? We have one more two slot and two more three slots. So let's take let's take a look at this gentleman. Bookmark his memories. So he was clawed by a terrible beast. Okay, so this one This one I, I should I should go uh, go back and open the open his death scene, I think. Because that one got confusing. Also, yeah. To answer the the question in the chat, you guys are if you guys are um, if you guys haven't played the game before, you are more than welcome to theorize in the in the chat. Feel free to help everybody out. If you've played the game before and you spoil something, I'll ban you myself. Yep. <laughs> like, that's that's it. Con- contain your uh, your spoiler senses. Cool guy will have the ban hammer on standby. Yeah. Okay. So this is where this is where these guys died. God, even a week later, that that crab soldier is still just incredibly intimidating. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, look at it. Yes, exactly. It's the fucking, it's the girl from the ring riding a, one of those deep sea fangly crabs. Yipes. It really looks like they have googly eyes. Okay. The crab soldiers. So we've got all of that. 
Now, let's bookmark this guy's memories and go back to where we first saw him. We first saw him in the surgeon's room scene when Rajub died. Um, oh. Which, but we hmm. curiously did not see him when Solomon Syed died. Okay. So that is oh. an important thing to note. Uh, he was also present when the cow died. Probably, likely a coincidence. Um, and then he was, he was present basically when the ship was boarded and what, or when, when they took on the mermaids is what I should say. So he was present when the, when the mermaids were, were handled. And then he was then present for pretty much the entire, uh, the entire boarding action until he died, uh, he died on the Orlock deck. Mm-hmm. So this is is ra- is rather interesting. The decedent have a Scottish accent. Uh, the decedent did not say any uh, anything in his death scene, and oh, okay. it would be difficult to uh, to identify who uh, who he is preci- uh, precisely in any other scene. Man, I feel like the cow got out of this the best, honestly. Uh, yeah. It was it was clean and quick for yeah. the cow. Not like the guy who got ripped in half, or the guy who got exploded, or the guy who was uh, the guy who put got to ripped death in half. You're gonna be a little bit. You're gonna need to be a little bit more, more uh, specific. The, the, guy, the guy who got exploded by lightning when. <laughs> oh, that yeah. one was also good. Yeah, it was one of one of the Chinese top men. No, he there. went he went down sick because that's awesome. Yeah, he had all. Yeah. He had. Big the game. first time I saw that, you guys mentioned the Bethesda physics engine. I'm like, yep. That <laughs> Okay, so an interesting thing to note is that since we did not see this uh, this guy in the when uh, when Solomon Syed died, that means that he's probably not a lower class sailor. Probably. So if you want, I can go uh, go back and and recheck any one of his scenes. Um, but that is, that is really the bit of uh, the big clue that we should take from there. He's probably if he not was at, if he's not a seaman, can we check where he's standing in the, um, in the justice at sea scene? Just cause that might give us a clue for a couple of them. He's not in justice at sea, but he is in underway. He is dancing with Emily Jackson. Oh, is he married to Emily Jackson? Uh, there is. Let's check to see if there is a Jackson on board. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. No. Hmm. There are there are no Jacksons on board. Aside Other from Emily Jackson. Jackson, of course. Aside from the titular Miss Jackson. Yes. Uh. Then be- yeah, he's basic. He's basically in the middle in the middle of of dancing with uh, with everybody. And Nunzio pa- uh, Pasqua is playing the fiddle right next to him. So Doctor Snark th- uh, thinks that this might be the surgeon's mate. Would That's you like? Kinda, would, would you? Would you guys le- uh, like to review any of the scenes? Sir, uh, well, hmm. I mean, oh. we could check out if he's in the office when uh what's his face is dead uh saeed it's not saeed in this thing what's it uh you're you're think you're thinking of what's it yeah i i've lost his name his name now too i'm terrible but we'll <laughs> uh we'll we'll go we'll go back and look uh, look at him and yeah even even Brittany is uh, is asking for for us to go uh, go back and check him let's go back if we can that is all good this is this gentleman? <laughs> Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Some consumption. <coughs> Made worse by the cold. Did it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the last house. I checked all hands just now. Never one is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his doctors? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Okay, so let's find this guy. 
not him. But that is uh, Renfrid Rajub. Sorry, Rajub. I didn't mean to, to insult you by forgetting your name. <laughs> is this him? No, that is a dude with a hat. Uh, uh, here he is, though. He is indeed just, chill uh, just chilling out. That's the surgeon's name would make sense then if he's just chilling in the surgeon's office. That does yeah. make sense. Yep. Okay. All right. We will oh, say he is the surgeon's mate until we have another idea. So that would be James Wallace from England. Well, we here. hold people down so the surgeon. When have we ever been wrong about off. who someone was? Uh, <laughs> you weren't wrong this time. Spoiler alert: that was the surgeon's mate. Well done. Oh, good. Hey, while we're here in this memory, can we go take a look at, say, the hammocks or something? Sure, we can go take a look yeah, at a couple of hammocks. Standing in any particularly. Uh, yeah, let's use the hammocks to the best of our ability. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the memory, and do I have a shot? I actually friend. don't have a shot at any of the hammocks because this is the Orlop deck, and the mm -hmm. hammocks are on the uh, or the hammocks are further down the way. Wait, is somebody coming out of a door over there, or was that the uh, the Formosans? Yeah, those are the Formosans over there. Those are their passenger quarters. Oh, all right. <laughs> just all about uh, the yeah, it's Ithanxia and um, Chiotan. I totally the other the guy, guy who was about guy. to be decapitated by uh, by the crab, we don't know. We can investigate him next. The oh, guy, the guy with the the guy with the apron, we already identified. He is the butcher, and we. Mm -hmm. You guys wouldn't know this because this was on, on the first stream, but we actually already identified the cook. Uh, the cook... Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, ugh, screw it. He's the one who got murdered by, uh, by the mermaid's tail. Yeah. <laughs> he did, had it coming. Yeah. He was like, oh, was that looks tasty! Oh, fuck, I'm dead! Yeah, yeah, he's he, he was just like, hey, give it to me and I'll fry, I'll fry us up. Uh, up a great meal. And the mermaid was like, fuck you, dude. I had a weird feeling that that may have been an alternate version of Ariel for the Blue Mario. She was like, oh, hell no, son. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Ariel ain't got nothing on, 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 the, on this. These mermaids, no, are about... B, these mermaids are B.A.B.'s. Talk All right. about eating ass. <laughs> I'm here to eat ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all <laughs> out of gum. <laughs> Gotta go fast and eat ass. Okay, so... I guess... Until you guys say otherwise, we'll keep on with, sol with Soldiers of the Sea. And we'll start out with the cat who was executed. He, or ele executed, electrocuted. He's one of the, uh, he's one of the Chinese topmen. So that's really, that'll be really helpful. He first now, how many, up. how many Chinese topmen do we have left that we can pick from? We have, I think there's like four. There's <laughs> four total. Let's double check and make sure we haven't identified any. I don't think we did. Yeah. Okay, yes, we have not identified any of the Chinese top men yet. Alright, so... Um, this Chi a Chinese man first showed up when Solomon Syed died. So that would be our first goal there. Let's go check on, uh, check on Syed. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna click past the dialogue th uh, this time since we just did it and we're here to look at hammocks. Okay, so first things first. Oh my gosh, just make this a little bit easier for me, for me to check the passenger manifest. Okay, or okay, so the man the manifest has us at okay, so 38. 39, 40, and 41 are our top men. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for, no, uh, for numbers 38 through 41. Mm, okay. And it's going to take me a second to find it. I'm looking for it just as much as you guys are. Uh, where is it? 59. 39. 30, okay, so 39. I just That one was just an X. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's how that's how they do ten. 
Oh, uh, it makes sense. Uh, 38, 39, 40, and 41. So, you have 39, 40, and 41. Now, after we've identified them here in their cots, we know basically what they look like in terms of the in terms of some of their their clothing. We know what shoes they're wearing. Yeah, we know what shoes they're uh, they're wearing. So we know for uh, for example that 38 wears White lace slippers. Yeah, lace-up <laughs> slippers basically. Oh. 40 wears black shoes. That way shoes. 41 wears Oh my gosh. I don't think we really know what 41 wears. Uh, none of the covers. Yeah, he's uh he's he's pretty tucked in there. Let's see if yeah, we can find 38. Cannon. Ah, here's 38. 38 has also basically flats but uh, but they're they're not lace up. So they're basically just like dockers. Oh, they're black slippers. Yeah, black slippers. I so those. You, you guys might, the... might want to you guys might want to make a make a, a note of that because now we're we're going to go That's we're going to go take a look at um at the guy who got electrocuted. This is going to be the first time in recorded history white people can tell Chinese people apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Incineration. No. And all it took was a magic pocket watch to do it. Well, and, oh, okay, and, the, so and the bribe and the bribe of a lot of money from the East India Trading Company. Also, that, that must have been numbers. a lot of money. Actually, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. have to go to his thing? Can you just check out his feet? On the well, <laughs> the, the, I, I have to go uh, go back into the scene to uh, to give you guys an actual good look at his shoes. Actual that is thirty eight black shoes yeah. with a white bottom. Black yeah. shoes with a white with a white bottom, so we think that's thirty eight. It looks like it. Thirty eight yeah, corresponds to Huang Li. Fucking roasted. <laughs> Okay, so we think that uh, that one's Huang Li. That was that was a pretty good pretty good bit of detective work. So, he got three sixty node scoped. My God, kind of did. <laughs> I think it's uh, I think it's up to uh, up to uh, debate on whether on whether or not um, that was something that the crab people did to start out. I feel like uh, you know what I'm gonna give that to the crab people. mm Hmm. Just because that makes it hundred percent more sick if he was struck down by evil lightning from the sea, right? You would think. Yeah. There was somebody saying that they just made the side angry, and that kind of fits. Yeah, yeah. Brit Brittany is Brittany is is pointing out that theory, and I think she's on to something. Poseidon's fury. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the other guy who got uh, who got clawed by the, the terrible beast the same time that James Wallace died. Let's uh, let's take uh, take a look at him. He's depicted in underway. So we don't have a, a super good look at him, but he's probably a, another another Chinese topman because he is noted to be present here when Huang Li died, and he was also pro uh, present when um, Syed died. We just need to look at his shoes. It's that is yeah. thirty nine. Thirty nine. Yeah. Okay. White we, top with black soles. White top with black soles. Okay, cool. We can we can just go uh, go ahead and do that right here then. Thirty nine. That would be Ji Zhang. That, or Ji Zhang is actually how uh, how it would be uh, be pronounced in Mandarin. And is, that yeah. gives yes, so. us. We got Zhu Huang and Lu Bu. <laughs> Man, if we get Lu Bu, if we get Lu Bu in here, I'm done. Like that's the Lu end, Bu would have wrecked stream. that Kraken. <laughs> That is the end of this stream. That's funny. We never actually identified the Kraken's name. You know what? I'm, I'm okay with not doing that. <laughs> That's Lu Bu. Okay. I was just gonna say that. So now we now we have now we have this cat, who uh, we he he got he was was our entry point in the Soldiers of the Sea because he was. He was on the port walk and got, and he was, he had already been spiked and he got shot by, uh, by somebody through the wall. That's right. So 
we can go for the we can go for this guy or we can try somebody a little bit easier because we have we have two theories already. Do we want to try this guy or do we want to try somebody else? Uh, let's look at his shoes. I mean, we can we can do <laughs> we can do that as a matter of fact. His Wait, where, is, where was he? Do you think he's he Chinese? No, well, he's definitely not Chinese, but he was the first time he showed up was when Thomas Sefton, the cook, died when they were hauling the mermaid down, and then uh, he let's was... take a look at him there just to see. Uh, when when Sefton died, okay. Yeah, when the cook died, because sure. that way we can get some. We he might be because if he's there, we might be able to find a context clue as to who he is. Sure. Let's go figure out uh, figure out this guy. Out of the thunderstorm and into the deck. <laughs> All right then. Um, no. Where exactly did we? Get yes, this, right. this should be second right here. Actually. You said something Zarbala, but I didn't hear it. Neither did I. Okay, fair enough then. Sucks to be that guy. Yup. So that's not right. Oof. That's not right. Where is this guy exactly? Extreme ass eating. Where you have to eat the food before it eats you. Is this the gen uh, the gentleman that we're looking for here? I no. Not One that guy. Blatantly, I, I, I forget precisely who we're, uh, who we're looking for. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he we're looking for guy guy yeah, he's got, he's got a heavy clothes. brow. He's got a heavy brow and everything like that, so... He looked Neanderthal-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep... Where do we have him? Where do we have him? It's not no. him. Here he is, I think. No. Yes, here he is. He is simply hold uh, He's simply holding a lantern for everybody. Oh. Oh. Um... Wait, look at his pants. Look at his pants. Yeah, those are some baggy pants. Those are pants. Indian yeah. pants. Okay, so we think this dude is Indian. That's that's pretty Yeah, reasonable. no, those are those are those swishy swash pants that Aladdin wears. Uh, <laughs> good man. You are a treasure. So Brit uh, Brittany asked what uh what accent is that? I can't say that I know precisely who she's talking about, but the decedent is the one saying, "Hey there, what's this? Give me, give him to me, and I can fry us a solid meal, boys." And uh, the cook is English, so it's probably just like some Cockney accent or some shit. Cool, blimey! I got spikes in me gums. And also a tail up, up in me noses. It's all sixes and sevens on this ship. And B, B Man actually ha has the has the what you're looking for there, Shalvar. I don't know if I said that right because I've never seen that word before, but. Thanks, yeah, sure. Man. Thanks, B man. Yep. Okay, so like we can, uh, we can that shelf our ass motherfucker. Beyond that, he was he was present when somebody died from falling cargo. Um, he was present when uh, the captain steward went nuts, and then he was he was present for the fighting. He was present for the fighting. He was present for the fighting, which makes sense because, you know, he got spiked and pretty much died from the fighting. That's all the information we have on him right now. How many Indian names do we have left? We have uh, Abraham Akbar. We have William Wasim. And I think that's it. Nope, we also have right. Zungi Safi, who is the ship steward. I think he's the steward because he's in, a, in an assistant role. You think? There's one. There's one other. Ma there's one other major hint that uh, that you uh, that you guys have, and it is the exact opposite of what. Like, here's the here's the the question that I feel like we should be asking ourselves: Why isn't this guy present when Solomon Sayyid died? Was he already dead? 
No, he uh, like no. he died long <laughs> no. after Saeed. But if he's the ship's he steward, didn't know him. No, if he's the ship's steward, he's quartered above decks with an actual bed, not a hammock. That's true. Yeah. So it's that guy. So yes, this that would be Azungi Zung- Sati. Um, it's worth noting that uh, that we said he was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterell, and we knew that was wrong. So, yeah. Well, yeah, because we were blaming everything on the captain then. Yeah, I think yeah. that was also me. So I'm going to go uh, go back to uh, to when he died, and we can take another look at that. So after this, we just need to look for the rest of the swishy swash pants. <laughs> well, I mean, you're you're only gonna ha- gonna have like two more Indians left at that point. So hey, yeah. that's two more people that we don't have to try to figure out later. Mm-hmm. That's true. So much focus on the pants. Well, look at them pants. Oh, they were comfortable. Mean, we also did just recently focus on shoes, so we're just working our way up. You're, you're yeah. <laughs> just, so, just so long as I, I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to identify like, somebody by their dong sack or something. I'll, I'll be like fine. next. We're just gonna see a big old belt buckle that says "fuck the English," and he's like, "Oh, that guy's Irish." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that doesn't actually narrow it down. That can also be, like, half the planet, so... Yeah, but... There's a big old shamrock on it. Where... Okay. <laughs> where did this guy die again? Oh, right. Port uh, Wall. I, I forgot. I'm gonna molly him, man. One guy's just wearing a name tag that we missed. <laughs> the other one's wearing Kiss the Cook, but it's not actually the cook. <laughs> Just, there should be an easy mode for this game where they're just wearing dumb bullshit and tells you exactly who they are. Sounds like a good April Fool's Okay, so this one's this, wearing actually. the I'm with the stupid shirt. I'm going to be back in two Ooh. seconds. Chip wants in. Just like the captain standing there with a giant neon sign that says captain pointing to him at all times. Well, no, it would actually be the equivalent of like a lightning bolt. You'd have it next to him because on the ship, the captain is God. <laughs> okay. Oh. Mm. So. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. The. Let's go. The annoying Looking thing about this side. one is that I can't actually get around to see precisely who is firing that gun. That guy over there. Mm. Yeah, it's that. It's him. He's got the guy who's fucking missing. Yeah, he's got he's got <laughs> a he's got a striped sh- a shirt on. So I can tell you I can tell you basically that he is. There's a light to see. He's this guy. A guy we have no that. idea about. Well, <laughs> that just is that scene, right? Yeah, and you know, I mean, like, like, and obvi- obviously, this is this is one where, and I, I legitimately do not know this. Um, the game mi- uh, might accept a couple di- uh, different causes of death because this guy's only back here because he got spiked, right? So he got de- like, he got shot. There is no freaking, there's no freaking question about that. But the game might accept spiked. I actually don't know. Let's try spiked, and then if that doesn't work, yeah. we'll do shot and leave it blank. But go ahead and put his name in. Yeah, I think the... his name's already in there. Yeah, okay. If it wasn't for the butt, he would have bled to death. <laughs> Where did you... Come on, did you come on. Just... Okay, yeah, here we go. And let's say he was spiked. It did not accept accept it just yet, but that might just be because we don't uh, we we don't have three correct. I'm All right, let's sure let's try to find correct. the other two Indians just so we can not worry about that specific. Wow, this is gonna sound bad. Not worry about that specific <laughs> race anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I caught myself oh. like halfway through. The <laughs> like, oh no! You almost oh, can't no. help. You almost can't help oh, yourself. You're, you're up in here. so much through the power of races. Oh no! Like halfway through, I'm like, uh oh. All right. Okay. So <laughs> here's a. <laughs> Wait, that's a Chinese dude. Well. That's a Chinese Ooh. dude. Um, Ooh. What do we got here? Where, 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 where do we have another Indian dude? Another Indian dude. Another Indian dude. I need more Indian dudes over here. 
I'm just saying I don't need to, uh, we need to stop worrying about the Indians. I mean, you, you need you need to figure them out. They're 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 tricky in this game. Uh okay, let me see here. Um can I We need to figure out who they are in a curry. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have Abraham Akbar and William Wasim. Dude, wow, we we don't we don't even have uh, we don't even have have a good uh, a good hit on on like how they died. They must have been a disappearance somewhere. Probably. Mm. Okay, so never mind. Here's one of them. This is uh, this is uh, this is one of them. He was crushed by falling cargo, and let's bookmark yeah. his memories. This is this is probably the guy uh, the guy who died. Uh, who let, actually let's was, uh... yeah let's double check where he died. Unholy captives. Yeah, he was yeah, he was, was crushed when when the mermaid stretcher fell down the stairs. Oh yeah, can we uh then go check his hammock and see if she was... We he was present when uh, when Syed was. died, but remember since he's one of the Indians, he was probably over Syed at the time. Ah, uh, true. So we can we can try we can try to figure out something though. Or maybe not never mind. Brittany, if you think th uh, those puns are bad, you are going to hate it when i finally get uh, get around to the next uh the next lp i want to do which i oh have no boy. i have no no problem telling you guys it's hero you the new uh the new the new game by lorian oh. and cory cole that game seriously tests the ld50 of puns it is fucking beautiful does it have as many puns as the dragon quest games because those are the best at them uh, they, lorian uh. lorian and Cor and cory cole made the quest for glory games answer yes okay okay that's all i needed to know <laughs> That's Does it have as many ball. puns as the Xanth game? Because that that series is okay, awful let, uh, at them. After, after, okay, hang on. You know, let me put it to let me put it to you this way, okay? In here, he, the the entire game's thing is hero, you rogue to redemption. The idea behind the game is that you get oh god, puns. it's a pun. You get there's two puns in it. There are two puns in the fucking name of the game. Hero University, but also Hero You. And Rogue to Redemption, because you play as a rogue instead of Road to Redemption. I love it. So, oh, are you in the Rogue's Gallery as well, then? <laughs> you can become Rogue of the Year. <laughs> Is he... Okay, so anyway, enough enough, pun, enough puns. This guy is—is uh, is this him? Some of them look pretty him. roguish. Wait, if you use earth magic in that game, are you a rocky rogue? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> oh, I have to get my card up. Yeah, that one's that, that, that one's painful. pretty great. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yes, we found we found this gentleman. He is the he is the one who is over. Is there Syed. a tag on the guy in the sleeping bag who's looking at the other guy? Because that'll let that's, us tell him. That's the one. Uh, the one with the X on it, and the and that that actually ended up not being what I thought it was, because the Indian um, folks are not even re remotely near 10 like like crewman 10 is winston is winston smith the carpenter so we have for them mm -hmm. uh 52 and 53 are 52. are 52. the the numbers that uh, that we have we have 53 over here which by process of elimination makes the x 52 and since 53 is empty basically mm -hmm. imply that the gentleman with the hat here would be crewman 53. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, sounds about the right. The only reason why there's an X on the hammock. To make it a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Time under under normal cir cheese. circumstances I would like I would say like, "Oh, you got to figure all figure more of this stuff out yourself." You guys, you guys have it. <laughs> like, like, like we, 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 we came, we came down, uh, down here on the right track. So, okay, there we go. That was William Wasim. We were correct about that. Hey. Oh, I 
feel like you guys are on the cusp of a breakthrough. And that was Huang Li. You guys got that right. Yes. And you also got Zhu yeah. Zhang right. Zhu <laughs> Zhang. Shoes don't fail me now. <laughs> you know, we that came through a little bit garbled, and it sounded like Jews don't fail me now. And I was like, <laughs> oh, what? I thought that was intentional. Yeah, no, and I, like, I, I'm, I'm confident you actually meant shoes. I don't think we have any of those on this phone. <laughs> I swear. I swear in my soul. <laughs> okay, so that does, ho uh, however, mean that... Um, we have uh, Zungi Sa uh, Sathi was spiked by a terrible beast is not correct. Um, which well, means then that... he was shot by uh, the stripy guy, but we don't know who the stripy guy is. We'll have to come back to that. I went ahead and, and changed it back to shot with a gun by an unknown attacker, and that we will you. revisit. Okay, what do we got okay. next? Um, calling, calling, calling. Okay, so we've got... We've got the, uh, this guy who was shot by the second mate as he committed his mutiny, and we know that's the second mate. I'm not sure what, yeah, uh, why. Yeah, the second mate. Got yeah, already. that's that's a thing. So let's try let's try to figure out this guy while we're here. He's only in two memories actually. So let's bookmark memories, and the first memory Which... naturally is when Syed died. So we know that the, uh, that this guy this guy is a seaman of some sort. Can we check his his bunk? Uh, if we know we have some sort of identifying characteristic or something, we don't we don't we don't really He's get bald. Much. I mean, we, we can look around if we see any bald heads, but it looks like he's got a <laughs> spiffy little necktie on. Yeah, yeah. Do note do note that we don't we don't tend to see people from uh, from the way uh, from the waist up. <laughs> like this this dude with a uh, with a tattoo over here is the only person that we're seeing there but we can get their uh <laughs> that's know, quite a tattoo tattoo of a classy victorian lady uh, or, to, or a tattoo. lady i'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna that. i'm not gonna make any judgments on how classy or not she is she's wearing a dress <laughs> okay that's classier <laughs> that's pretty classy to be honest well as yeah, far as well, tattoos well, go I yeah yeah Okay, so we'll we'll need to revisit where this guy died, and that's fine. We can do that. I know exactly where his. Actually, can't you just see the tattoo on the arm right there in the uh, in the book picture? Yeah. Maybe. I, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, I wasn't looking that closely. Uh, that's a very good eye. It does indeed look uh, look like that. Since I'm already out out of the scene, we'll go we'll go double check. But that's a very that was a very good eye. Yeah. You know, I didn't I didn't see that at all. Yeah. His number was uh, yeah. number thirty seven on the manifest. Yeah, it was thirty seven. Okay, cool. We'll check that. And yes, he indeed ha uh, has a tattoo right there, which means that is that is number thirty seven. Ah, interesting. Well done. <laughs> That was very that nice. was a that was a very good eye and thirty seven. You guys are gonna love this because uh, he does not look Scottish, but that is Timothy Butiman, the top uh, the hey. topman from Scotland. Okay, so what do we got next? Okay, so the next one we have uh, we have up is the the uh, the calling. And basically, the doomed expedition the sec uh, the second mate mutinied with. Yep. So let's let's head back out. See what we can see there. God, that burrito aid is making me sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Too much bread and rice. Well, in all fairness, I did make a fried chicken burrito. Ooh, that is that Ooh, that's that that's sounds heavy. incredibly tasty and also incredibly bad for my diabetes. Um, yeah, that probably uh, probably wouldn't be great for that. All right, that so sits on don't, your don't feet worry. Like red I mean, you don't need your you don't need your feet to do LPs. Do not need except my feet for that one where he played Mario with his feet. Yeah, that I that that, that was a thing that happened. Ah, uh, Vickus. <laughs> Vickus was mad. You know what? I was wrong, that. and I take that back. You absolutely need your feet to make LPs. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm 
try to go uh, go back to Miss Lim and uh, work into this guy dying there. It's so difficult to tell uh, tell which person is which. I think it's that guy. Oh no, the stream's acting up for me. Oh no. Oh no, same. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Loading, loading, loading. I reloaded it and it's working now. Okay, great. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say I am still showing that the stream's healthy. Oh yeah. Alright. All right. That worked. Probably just my internet. Yes. Your internet took out my internet too. Me <laughs> too. He affects us all. He's the Kraken. Whoopsie doodles, you caught me. I'm the Kraken. Yep. <laughs> oh no, now we know the Kraken's name. <laughs> but do you know my name? Actually, there is someone in chat who knows my full name. Don't say it. <laughs> yeah, don't. Please. Don't spoil it. Chat, how much of an arm those mermaids have? Uh, yeah, no, they, they have done this a couple of times before. Anyway, so the, the decedent the is the one who says they say strange things about monsters, and you know, obvious, obviously, the Formosans are speak are speaking <laughs> Chinese of some. Oh no, that mermaid's form is, is like is beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step all over her form, just stepping right on over it. <laughs> like, look at that shit. She even has one finger out. Like, fucking. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Reached in for another javelin to throw. Okay, so this this is a Chinese dude who has black shoes. All right. All right. If somebody still that has... That is number 40. <laughs> this guy actually did take <laughs> notes. I love you, oh my Pop Tarts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously, Pop Tarts? Oh my gosh. It says number He may be number 40, shoes. but I'm giving that throw 10 out of 10. It'll be Li Hong. <laughs> Somebody's actually prepared. Goodness gracious. I, like, I literally told people to take notes. I just didn't expect anybody to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. This is not the dishonored one. All yeah, because right. the guy who's like, oh, the swishy swash pants is Indian is real good at taking notes over here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good observation, though. <sighs> all right. All so, next up. About. We uh, have this guy. You're all just precious treasures. Oh, True story. You're gonna make me blush if you keep that up. <laughs> so this guy was present when Cargo fell. And then he was also present when Solomon Syed died. Oh, crap. I mean... He was present when Hawk Sengal He's one of the Russians. I was... know... Executed, but that's not surprising because he is shown to be one of the people who was firing. Oh, I'm trying to focus, but my cat is having a dream. Oh, that's going to make it difficult. <laughs> and then basically, he was yeah, he was part a part of the first mate's mutiny. And yeah, so there that is all of that. God, am I gonna need? Yes, I'm gonna need. I need to exit this this area and frickin' go uh, go back. Oh my gosh, you're killing me here, game. <laughs> Killing me here, Smalls. Don't. I me. I do kind of feel like I'm dying from Smalls. All right, so it should be this guy. Cause of death, Smalls. That is that 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 is legitimately a cause of death in, in some of the. Oh, I should shut up. Oh. Where is it? There, something there. I see it. Give us a weapon. Shoot it. Oh, that's right. Back up the oars and row, you fool. All right, we have another dude here. He's definitely a seaman, a seaman class because he was he was present when Solomon Syed died. Oh, I forgot he got it through the fucking head. And it's not even just through Hell the head, show. like through the jaw too. I like, know. That is that is some crazy shit. That's jarring. <laughs> yeah, you know, she got the that mermaid got the bullet cam from Sniper Elite going right there. Oh. <laughs> So in terms of in terms of what what he said, he was the one who said, "Give us a weapon." I she did. 
I mean, she did. <laughs> don't think, don't think he was talking to her. <laughs> yeah, like she totally did. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's look over every uh, everybody we've uh, we've got left. Uh, we have no more top. Well, we've got one more topman from England, Lewis Walker, and then we also have Alexander Booth, Patrick O'Hagan, George Shirley, and Samuel Peters. Those are all of the more all all of the the people we have left that are white, and this is definitely a white dude. Well, Senate I mean. H in the next page somebody's mentioning O'Hagan by name. Alright, so who who role. on the boat would be willing to mutiny against the captain? An Irishman? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, <laughs> it is worth it is worth noting that Ugh. he's uh, that Mio is also correct. On the very next page someone says, O'Hagan, you still breathing, can you row? Yeah. So, so yeah. An Irishman. Okay, we will say that Patrick O'Hagan was speared by a foreign enemy. I'm glad that someone else <laughs> followed my logic there. Oh shit! Like I, he, it didn't accept. Uh, it didn't accept foreign enemy. I switched it to beast on a lark, and that locked it in. That was totally O'Hagan, by the way. Nice. Nice. Oh. Like I said, he's wearing a big old fucking belt buckle. It said fuck the English. <laughs> 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 Pretty identifiable. You also got Lee Hong correct. Nice. <laughs> uh, which means something very interesting. We only have one more Chinese topman. And well, that should make that pretty easy, huh? Yeah, we, yes. we know that the, the last one disappeared during the Doom. Why the one with the chopstick, Scoob? Well, I mean, we we still we still do I do have uh, have one or two other people from like Sierra. Le no, no, Sierra Leone wouldn't be it. Maybe nah, just nah. Cool guy, can I level with you? What? I don't know what Sierra Leone is. It's, it's a <sighs> it's a third of Spain. It's it's a what? Uh, beast. Yes. Okay. Great. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you Wei Li because you've already done that by process of elimination. Yeah. Um, but a 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 but a. What do we got next? We have. It's a country in Africa. Yes, Hold it on. is. Sierra. I am distracted because I'm trying. I'm trying to keep this thing going. I I forgot how you spell Sierra Leone. It's a Sierra Leone. That's the country. Okay, and it's so known for the white sand beaches lighting the Freetown Peninsula. I bet that I like how Freetown commemorates the nation's slave trade history. That is oh, one. Oh, it is one of the one of the yeah. one of the more rich ironies from Western colonialism. <laughs> yes, it's called Freetown. Yes, it is. <laughs> Western colonialism is a hell of a thing. <laughs> oh, my back actually popped for as well. <laughs> <laughs> Like Scoob, oh. they call them Freetown. <laughs> <laughs> and Scooby's just oh. like, oh, 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 Raggy. I'm a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next dude, this next dude, um, who's the one, the one who said, O'Hagan, you still breathing? Can you row? Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake. So he got he got knifed by <laughs> Itbang Sia as. Uh, Sia was trying was trying to open the chest. The first time he shows up is when Hawk Sang Lao was executed, and then then he basically only shows uh, shows up again during the revolt. Mm -mm. Mm. So we can reasonably assume that he is not a seaman or topman. Okay. Um, and the shipman? huh. Midshipman, maybe then. Midshipman is a possibility. Steward is a possibility. Somebody's mate is a possibility. Somebody, or right, let's take a look at Justice at Sea. Probably not an officer mate. He, he doesn't is, have a fancy hat. Well, he he's depicted Indeed. over over by over by the officers, and there's Nichols. So he is across the way from uh, from Nichols, but that might that might not mean anything. Actually, all of these, all of those guys have the same uniform, don't they? These stewards, probably. The stewards do appear to uh, appear yeah. to have yeah. the same uniform. That is a very good observation. 
It's a really drab uniform. Well, so he's a finally steward. someone's not looking at their pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're moving up. And also, you're right, Necroner. Some men are more equal than others. <laughs> oh. Mm. All right. So we have. There's that. That dark comedy. <laughs> Very dark. <laughs> Emphasis on dark. Shit, dude. Oh. <laughs> Only in Sierra Leone. <laughs> All right, so if we think he's a steward, that means uh, actually, he's, he's um, Samuel Galligan from Ireland, Roderick Anderson from England, or Davy James from from England. Oh, I want to say it's Davy James because I want him to be Davy Jones. Yeah. Do we want to go with that for now, then? Sure. sure. But he's on the rebellion votes. <laughs> well, oh, you're you right. That. Yeah, oh. Cold, Cold Rage is pointing out something very interesting. Uh, maybe he is Irish. Which, and remember <sighs> that Nichols is the second mate. So yeah, that's Galligan. Yeah, Probably that's Galligan. Galligan. Also, I do want to point out, because of the format that we're doing this uh, sort of exercise, because uh, the stream itself I do believe what we have it muted because we're in a Discord chat room, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can't actually hear their accent when they're talking. Well, we, I, we, if you unmute it for a second when the when it goes, we listen. Yeah, no, I, I, that, that's that's kind of why I tell I, I yell at people. It's dead people time, so they they know, hey, it's time to unmute. Yeah. Hush, everyone. Yeah. The dead people are talking. Dead people are talking. All right. All you see dead people everywhere. Here. Hey, yo, I'm talking here, and I'm fucking dead. More ghosts uh, than <laughs> Ghostbusters can handle. Sounds about right. Okay, so that actually does it for all of, all of the corpses we can access. <coughs> we now have two people who disappeared, and we, we concluded that they were probably drowned by terrible beasts. So that part is taken care of. And we have a uh, couple of, couple of other people that, that we can take a look at here. Let's start <laughs> with Beard well. Man here. Hey, yo, I'm dying over here. <laughs> it was really amusing. <laughs> Would really oh. amuse me if we, we could get we could get so, uh, somebody from New Jersey up in here. <laughs> well, well, really someone from the chat eyes. is from New Jersey. <laughs> oh, it's even better. I'm dying here. What's going I'm on? I'm fucking man? dying over here. Hey. Fucking crabs, forget about it. What's going on? Uh fucking fucking crabs and Jaeger bombs on this boat. Fucking crazy. Absolutely insane. How the hell who let those crabs on board? I can't I can't anymore. Alright, alright, alright. Back to business. This dude. This dude right here, let's let's see him depicted in underway. He's playing cards in un, uh, in underway, and uh, okay. the first time he uh, he shows up is when Solomon Syed died. Okay, that's that's one of the Russians. Uh, yeah. he's entirely Isn't possibly one uh, one of the Russians because we also know that there there was a Russian member of the mutiny. <laughs> Tell me this all. And then beyond that, uh, we. Don't the only other times uh, times we see him are on the boats, and he he just sort of, uh, sort of gets hauled over ground. It would be him right uh, right here, getting uh, pulled over by the by, by the, the sea police. Yeah, the sea oh, police. Oh, he's getting the the you know lethal necking by the mermaid. Yeah. Combat hug. Combat hug. I like Combat that. Combat hug. Yes. <laughs> really glad. We probably we probably don't actually have uh, have a lot of information about him right now because like he shows up so infrequently. This other guy, however, you can bookmark him. He shows up in eight memories instead of just four. But he was present when the cargo fell. He was present when Syed died, so he's probably another seaman. He was present at Justice at Sea. Let's try when Syed died to see if he's in his bunk. Okay, let's first yeah. of all find who that dude is, if we can. Yes, let's see if we can find his feet. <laughs> it, would, it would be helpful. Is uh, this, yeah. That's Nichols. 
can't do anything with him. Wait, get a good look at him right now just to see if he has what are his most defining characteristics. That is what we're looking for. It's probably going to be Besides a Besides being fucking dead. He's got a pipe. He has a pipe? Yeah, check that shit out. Yeah. He's got a pipe. Oh, man. <laughs> he has a pipe and... Yep. Black shoes that, with, uh, with, cu uh, yep. with cuffed, uh, yeah. cuffed pants. Well, why don't yeah, we look to see yeah. if he's in Justice at Sea? Is there a chance he'd be smoking because he has a pipe? Uh, yes, but it's entirely possible. But would that help identify him? Probably not. Let's check his bunk. Okay then. <laughs> yeah. Or just look at the bunks to see if he left his pipe in his bunk if he's not in it. It would probably be near it, assuming he's not smoking it. We walk over to the hammock as we look at the tag. Okay. A question mark. We walk over, look at the tag, it's just a pipe. It, it's, it, it's been burned <laughs> away because uh, because because he was smoking in bed. He used his rolling paper, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> he was it's a pipe, not it. a joint. Hey, no, you don't know what goes on. In... That's why it's called the high seas. Damn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin. Hey, Maybe. Okay, uh, I should probably there on the snacks. Should probably dub uh, double check. Whoa, the crew. Oh God, I hate how long it takes to uh, to scroll down this crew manifest. Like seriously, yeah, it's, just, it's, yeah, it's so almost awful. like there's sixty people on it. Yeah, and it, it's almost like, like <laughs> I can only only go down like like two every time I move my my thing entirely all the way down. Anyway, so fifty seven, fifty nine. Those are. Options, Topman, Topman, Topman. Okay, so might be Lewis Walker, uh, Alexander Booth, George Shirley, or Samuel Peters. So we're looking for 50, 56, 59, and 56, 59, 60, and 44. Didn't we, didn't Samuel Peters die on the rope somehow? Uh, because... Samuel Samuel Peters did uh, did not uh, did not die. You're, I believe you're confusing him with uh, oh, wait, Nathan, Nathan Peters. Nathan Peters. Nathan Peters. Nathan. Yes. All right. Yeah. yeah. Nathan got off the thing. So Samuel. Mm -hmm. So we're probably looking for a we'll check on the memory with Nathan at some point. Probably should should check that uh, check that. All right. So we've got 59 right uh, right here. Does he have a pipe? Through his text. <laughs> Why does everybody in this fucking boat sleep with a cover over their head? Because it's uh, <laughs> not asleep. He doesn't have the right uh, shoes. Uh, pants. The pants 58. are cuffed. Fifty-eight. Are the hammocks above the Russian guys empty? The hammocks above the Russian guys are empty. Yes. They still have tag. Uh, we have at least one tag. We have forty-seven. And I can't get to the other ones. Can you look at your pants really quick to see if they're cut? We have. Where is this? We can ident. We can identify. We can identify the. Who is who right here? Okay, so this is the guy who mutinied and died. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Died at sea. So. He's got dark blouse to trousers. I mean, again, not. Not that that matters. Oh, I'm wait. They're, they're this summer, and his dark <laughs> trousers and his poofy shirt. He controls the high seas of fashion. I swear to Christ. <laughs> it is the least comfortable people thing in the world to sleep with a blanket over Yeah, your you face. feel like you're suffocating really fucking fast. Okay, so... 58. I'm not saying that's garbage and you're wrong, but that's garbage and you're wrong. <laughs> So 58 is Alexander Booth, um, or 58 is Patrick O'Hagan. We already know that. Wait, isn't that the dead. guy that shot Lincoln? <laughs> 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 Wrong Booth. Good try, though. Yeah. We know how he died. Alexander Booth has absolutely nothing showing. Like I always he... want to say it's him, then. <laughs> so we've got that Samuel Peters, and who was the other person I wanted? I also wanted... Uh, Walker, number 44. Yeah. Where's 44? Where's 44? Just imagine this, this is what this is what your claims adjuster has uh, has been has been reduced to. 
<laughs> it's like, yep, no, even even in even in death, I'm still I'm still checking numbers. It's 44, uh, 42. Where is 44? 49. <laughs> That's a good question. Is 44 on this? Where is 44? Well, he like like he was noted to be uh, to be present here, and I can't find 44. Mm. I don't see 44 four here. Yeah, it might be All behind right. the white space. And that that might uh, might imply that he is not in fact the topman. The other thing that's interesting is I can't find 60. I've I found everything up to 60, but I can't find 60. But I mean, yeah, we can see we can see the outlines of some hammocks. Uh, yeah, there's, there's two hammocks in the uh, white space. And I can I cannot witness those at all. Oh well. But we do we do know that uh, this this Englishman that we're uh, we're tracking is is uh, is present in this scene. Like it tell like it has told <laughs> the game has told us that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't uh, find sixty. Feet. So it's not Samuel Peters. They're just silhouettes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find. Uh, I can't find. Forty-four, Lewis Walker. So he's not that, which means he's either Alexander Booth or George Shirley, which is fifty-seven and fifty-nine. Which I'm pretty sure I can con I can confirm those real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, fifty-one, fifty-three, fifty-eight, fifty-seven. There's fifty-seven. There's fifty-five. There's fifty-six. I actually don't have fifty-nine. I thought well. I had 59. I don't have 59. No, number one is the captain. Yes, actually. No, <laughs> yes. These numbers correspond with the crew manifest. Yep, the, it corresponds with the crew manifest, so I can't find 59. Can't find 60. Oh, he may be funking with the captain. <laughs> if anything, is uh, his... his... <laughs> His uh, his freaking twenty years, my steward has uh, has, has is doing that, <laughs> which is even weirder because the wife's also there. Yep. All right. So <laughs> the it's only the ocean. Nobody they got that nobody judges. Madness. Nobody judges on the ocean. Everybody judges on the ocean, but we're gonna pretend that they don't. <laughs> okay. So first disappeared in the calling. So this guy. The only one that we, that we can actually oh. confirm is here is Alexander Booth. Oh, right. mm -hmm. actually, hmm? uh, were you guys looking for a pipe? I I am being told a little birdie is telling me. Am I messing this up? They, <laughs> no, during that scene while you were looking around, someone did actually see a pipe. Wait, where's the pipe? I do, I'm just going by vague descriptions from this other person. Yeah, <laughs> better I, eyes than I do. I actually didn't. I didn't see. Didn't see any pipes anywhere. There's like, uh, in a. He said something about a bag. A bag. A bag. Well, Ugh, what's in a the bag? bag. Yes, there's. Yes, there's. <laughs> I'm Colonel. I'm in a chat with some Colonel. people. Colonel. Are <laughs> lurking. There's a pipe. And they're not posting. The, and they're not yeah. posting in the stream chat. Of I course they're not. <laughs> They should. They should. They they should just post in the stream chat. I'm not sure I'm uh, why. To, I'm going to tell them this. Why? Why that? Why that's so I mean, intimidating? They're watching. They can hear it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Complaining about these guys. <laughs> Swear to God. Tell us your secrets, mystery person. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not just making this up because Neo is also in the chat room too. I mean, I'm not looking because screw those guys. They tricked me last time. <laughs> 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 so oh. I'm, I'm just I just heard that these people are not to be trusted. I'm just gonna gonna put uh <laughs> I heard that Neo got yeah. tricked like an idiot. That's all I heard. <laughs> so like, oh, apparently oh, wait, we looked right at behind, right at the I pipe it looking might be, for tags. Is a bag behind a guy at the card game? At the card table. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So let's is go, there let's a, go let's check the other wall. Like right in the same right in the same partition as the card mm -hmm. game. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's see. I'm just waiting for the stream to catch up. No, yep. no, 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 no. Okay, I think I see a bag. Okay, I think that's what he's talking about. It's on the right partition from the 
you're right does a does a doesn't help your coin to need I need it like I'm I'm fa I'm fa when I'm facing the bow, you have left to uh, to port, right to starboard. You're gonna have to help me out there. Cool guy, I'm okay. getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting dizzy too. <laughs> uh, there's like, like there's there's a man there's a man bag. Uh, like here's here's the Scooby Doo oh, chase with us it. going through all the different <laughs> doors. Oh god. <laughs> 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 man down. <laughs> I'm, making, like, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this until until you give me a, a number to, uh, to look at. I, okay, like this is my revenge. To the right for of the guys who are playing cards. <laughs> this is my revenge for give, uh, giving you guys so many hints. Yes, here it is. There's the pipe. There's the pipe over forty-seven. Okay, forty-seven. Oh, oh. oh thank you. Mark. Oh, uh, so that would that would be Alexei Toporov. Sorry, was the last boy, boy. Jeez, Louise. Oh, nuts and bolts. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Cool guy gave us the little Alexei Toporov. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I like how Toporov is not a topman. <laughs> no, no. Matter of fact, matter of fact, he's. Uh, he Leonid Volkov is the topman, so like we should be able to fi figure him out pretty quickly, just because he'll be present when uh, when when the dude got electrocuted. Oh shit! That turns out that was Toporov. Huh? How strange. <laughs> 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 Good job. Uh, We're doing a job. I, I, uh, I, I, I feel, I, I feel on my incredibly file, I relieved actually did not for finally doing him. something like that. I'm, I'm going to remember this. You guys, you guys are. Going I'm going, okay, so now we're now we're now we're all we're all up in uh, we're all up in freaking freaking what what are we what are we in now a Telltale game? This is a Telltale <laughs> game now. Rip Telltale. Oh. oh. Yeah. Rest in spaghetti, never spaghetti. <laughs> All right. So hold on. We got a, We got another 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 bearded dude playing. Uh, supposedly playing cards over here. Is that this guy? Okay. So yes, we have actually confirmed that the last disappearance we have here is also Russian. Yep. And now that uh, that we now that we know we know who Toporov is. We only have two of, uh, two other Russian people. I don't and... think this can be a Telltale game because I'm not remembering a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've just kind of activated my goldfish brain, and I re don't remember much of it. You cut out pretty hard, uh, pretty hard there, but I'm going to assume yeah. it was hilarious. Uh, what I can only identify number, stupid assholes. Oh, That's all I'm good uh, at. <laughs> oh god. What uh, is our solved number the, now? Is a is a is a question here. Do I do I actually have that nicely? No, I would have to if, I would have to count all of these and fuck. That. Brittany, if he was Rasputin, he wouldn't have died at any point here. <laughs> well, he didn't get shot. Rasputin did. <laughs> so here is here is a question. So we know we know that we we have we have a couple of a uh, couple of Russian dude, uh, dudes here. We, I, I'm pretty sure we identified that uh, that guy at the card table. Wait, is that so? Who's more logical to put in a, a longboat, a seaman or a topman? The, mm. the uh, Russian in the longboat's well, probably just a basic seaman. I well, mean, we, we can say, we can but, check uh... this as well because we have we have the third seaman uh, right here. He perished in Escape Part Three. Okay, so this is the guy who got who got shot from. We know that was. Whoops. We know that was Miss. Jackson, Jackson. Axel, actually. Um, so he died here, and so let's see where else he was. If he was when that guy got electrocuted, no, he couldn't have been, would he? Uh, no, it's, he could it's, have. it's possible. It's possible he was. It's That's basically have. what I'm what I'm trying to confirm. Uh, in the open <laughs> sea. Wait, what? This is the wrong person. No wonder I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, Louise. 
Okay, bookmark memories, for the love of God. Now, perished in the escape part three. Now, where else were you? On the stern deck. So this is the guy who killed Paul Moss. Uh, he was fighting during the Doom. He was fighting underneath on the gun deck. And he was present when Huang Li was ex executed, which means that he is a Russian topman. Bam. All right, then. Oh. Yay! Process of it's, uh, uh, So that's uh, Volkov, isn't it, then? That would be Leonid Volkov, yes. Yeah. And... Which actually clears up a lot. Mm hmm yeah, uh, also, That also let, uh, lets us know who killed Mr. Moss. There we go. And then we know that this is Leonid Volkov, which makes our last mystery a mystery Russian. Oh, that's my favorite kind of drink. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's, that's that's when that's when the uh, the mixer might be uh, be milk, or it might be something else that you don't. Uh, yeah, you don't it's a, it's like a white Russian, but you don't know what the white part is. <laughs> oh. I'm glad you. <laughs> I'm glad you and I were, uh, were on the same the last page with Russian that. Semen. So it's a white <laughs> Russian, but it might be a little chunky. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It's the kind of drink where they also give you a hammer because you don't want to remember what it was tasted like when you wake up next morning. It's like those jelly beans that can be any flavor. It might be milk. It might be jizz. We're not sure might which until you bite into it, and then, then you then you just want to vomit. Anyway, Actually, so... I got some of those for Christmas last year for my family, and oh boy, they will make you vomit. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to motor right past that and say that the, that our last mystery <laughs> Russian is Alarkus Nikishin. I'm definitely not saying that right. But yeah, that's that's another three fates. Yay! Oh, hey, great. Congrats. Yay! Russian people identified. We no longer need to care about Russians. That's another race down. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the heavy would uh, would make his make his presence known from beyond the fucking grave. Yeah. Uh, no, I was referring to Nikolai Polanski from oh. Black Ops Zombies. Yeah, even better. All right. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. The calling is now done. So we have unholy captives. We have this unknown soul, who is a. East Asian gentleman who was present when cargo fell. All right. He's present when Syed died. And then we mm -hmm. don't see him again until he died with Chio Tan. Hmm. Well, the first thing I can think would be again to check the hammocks, but well, yeah, we need we need to we need to get a, re a really good look at him first, and uh, we might be uh, be able to get we can't get a decent look at him through that photo. We might be able to get a decent look at him through the underway sketch. Did he um, say anything? Oh, he did say anything. Did he? No, that was Chiotan who's talking. Um, the yeah, the 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 X here is definitely Chiotan talking. Yeah. Hmm. Let's let's see who we even have left. So we know that we know that he's a seaman, or a top. I'm pretty sure one of the things he said is, "Oh God, I'm dead. I'm fucking dying. I've okay, been killed." Okay, so yeah, no, th this one's actually kind of a gimme at this point because we have, as far as as far as low ranking people on the ship, we have Samuel Peters, George Shirley, Alexander Booth, Lewis Walker, and then Abraham Akbar and Hamado Diam. If this gentleman doesn't look Indian to you, then uh, then th it's it's gonna be Hamado Diam. Wait, can I look at his face? There you go. There's his face. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. It's loading. It's gotta get there. It's catching up. Where's the face? Um. And he looks like he just foresaw everything that's gonna happen, and he's also trying to let out a fart quietly. <laughs> I, I can He's definitely absolutely see, Indian. I can definitely see uh, see uh, see trying to let out a fart quietly. Yeah, look, that's the face yeah. of I'm trying to not make this a squeaker. Oh, well, hang on though, <laughs> hang on though, because we know that we know that um, we know that Syed's friends are are all are are the Indian guys, right? All so, 
we actually can't see the, uh, this guy right off. Hmm. So I actually don't think he's Indian, as a matter of fact. So uh, he's probably the Sierra Leone guy then. Uh, the other one. More than likely. More than Hamada. likely, he is Hamado Dion. Cool. And then we're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, that's actual. That's actually it. So hang tight. Your Von Tootle lot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and also, Doctor Snark had asked, "Isn't there like one Formosan Chinese dude left anyway?" And we have figured out all the Chinese people and all the Formosan people. They have all been identified. They've all been identified, Snark. Um, so how many do we have left? We're probably getting pretty close. You are getting pretty yeah, close. Over three quarters, roughly. Uh, so we, we also to note, we still don't know know who this gentleman who died on the cargo deck is. In Falling Cargo, we should probably try, uh, try to figure him out. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's go take a look and see what ethnicity we think he is. Well, that I've guy looks Russian. He looks pretty Russian, <laughs> but uh, there was only street Russians playing. I'm yeah. saying if somebody's going to die first, it's a Frenchman. I mean, we, uh, could, we could try that. There is one, per there is one partic a particular clue that you're overlooking that I will, uh, I will go back to you for, or go back for you on. Okay. Uh, right. Did he have a white flag in his hand? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh. So what? What's you know your what thought, Kosi? I was when he was talking to Lars Linda. He was like, "You thought I forget you killed my brother? That must be Sam Peters." Oh. oh. I think oh he's right. And then he's like, yeah. "That was an accident." And he's like, "I don't care. Fuck you." Good memory. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's uh, he he like like yeah. Go Gose was talking about that right as a, as I was on the conversation that I was taking you to. <laughs> he, Damn. He, he anticipated me a little bit. So yes, this is Samuel and, Peters. And if you go into his memory, you can actually see Lars on yeah. at the wreck. And the um, yeah, and the, and if if you yeah, and if you go back into this particular mem memory and you listen closely, you can hear that it's Lar Lars Linda saying, "Look out below." So that one's taken care of. Unholy captives. Pretty sure this is sorted out. Want to just double check? Okay, great. And then soldiers of the sea. Uh, Zungi Safi. We don't know who killed him yet. Now we're into the doom. We have this unknown soul who was crushed by a terrible beast. He is in twelve memories. Let's start looking around. Okay, so he was present when Sa when Syed died. You are looking for a Frenchman. I'm pretty sure that's him. <laughs> yeah. He kind of looks like Charles the Finer. <laughs> Charlotte, sure. Let's uh, actually let's get a, get a good look at him in the underway sketch. He's like he's back in there. He's like way it, back in the... there. Yeah, he's a Frenchman. He's retreating. <laughs> well, it's uh, the look of sheer smugness he's got there. Yeah, alternately, like, alternately, he's... it's this guy. He's sitting next to Solomon Syed. And, yeah. and he, since, we're, other... since we're in the scene, Indians. I can also show you that he is in the he's uh, in the, the okay. hammock, literally looking oh, okay. over Syed. Oh, can oh, have he's you checked out his pants? I mean I could look at his <laughs> pants, but you know, I think we've established that this dude is Indian at this point. He's got the shoes, sure he's watching to check his pants. I don't know. And there's only yeah. there's only one more Indian seaman. That is Abraham Akbar. Oh crap! More more fates solved. Oh, hey. Awesome. Could have guessed. We're flying through them now that we have less things to be wrong about. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now Just that we don't have to deal with Baba. That's Samuel Peters, and then also Hamado Diom. We got that right. Only a couple left, boys. I'm waiting for us to be so incorrect about something it removes some fates from us. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, put them in again so you remember how to be correct. <laughs> it just ma makes, you, makes you go through and do everything wrong and then go back and do it right again. Yeah, yeah uh, if you don't get them all right the first try, you don't get the good ending. Damn. The good Legend ending is where it was just a bad dream from the captain. Oh my god. <laughs> Unless it's like one of those VN novels where you have to get 100%, and that means all the game over screens as well. 
Yeah, this is actually Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would not be able to make this many jokes we, we were watching, we were playing that shit. Oh, you want to bet? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they, they wouldn't go over as well. I'll put it to you that They'd much. They'd go over even better. <laughs> Well, we already oh, have enough God. rope to, uh, you know, hang yourselves with the new, uh, with the news. We don't yeah. need to see another one. So this dude, this dude over here, he was blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast alongside Christian Wolf, and his first memory is again when Solomon Syed died. So we can pretty much be guaranteed that he's a low-ranking seaman of some sort. Uh, yeah. Then he was on board for the, or he was present when the mermaids were being taken captive. Yep. Then he was present when Philip Dahl went fucking berserk. And he was present when Huang Li died. If he was what? Yeah. Was, All right. Does was, that mean he was a top man? That would definitely yeah, imply that go. he is, that he is a top man. Let's see yeah, how many right. top well, men we have left. Don't we have just one? <laughs> we do indeed. Lewis Walker from England. Alright. So there you go. Because there was only top men in that scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was up, it was up in the rigging. Everybody was, craw uh, was crawling around in there. Alright, so we and have... Then... Oh, guy. that guy. Is he the last uh, steward? Because uh, of his he... uniform? Yeah, Maybe he's we'll... got the uniform. Didn't Let's... we identify most of the stewards? Let's take a look again. <laughs> And yes, he is a steward, and he's stand, uh, standing uh, right next to one, or he's in the steward uniform, and he's standing right next to one of the officers. And we still have not identified the third mate steward and the fourth mate steward. Uh, we've identified, but not actually like clicked on Philip. We identified the farthest gunman. Uh, the gunner's mate, you mean? Yeah, the, no, the one in the in the picture of, of the execution, the one that was oh. farthest. Uh, artist. Just a moment. Let me look. Uh, the one who's furthest away is Henry Brennan. We actually have identified all of the gunmen. Have we remembered to go back and uh, and uh, actually note who shot the uh, the guy? Uh, you mean uh, you mean um, Hock Sing Lao? Yeah. We have indeed. Oh, okay. It was it was Just Henry Brennan. Sure. Henry Brennan got him. I couldn't remember if we'd done that. Yeah, uh, after basically after you uh, you guys finally identified Beanie Man, I I went back and was just like, you know, you got you guys mentioned at the time that Beanie Man was the one who killed Hawk Sang Lao. So I was just like, I'll just I'll just go back and do that bit of note keeping for you. Yep. Okay, so we know this guy is this guy is a steward. We know he's not Phil, uh, Philip Dahl because Philip Dahl was the dude who got crazy who went crazy and got locked up. And um, we. What captain or officer is he standing next to you slash behind? Let's get a closer look at that, shall we? Um, depicted in Justice at Sea, he's standing behind this gentleman, who is unknown, and he has not been known to die. Actually, we have Did all he escape. Of the we have all of the data, and we have no idea when this guy disappeared or died. Hmm. But That's let's take a look suspicious. at everybody else. <laughs> we have we've identified the captain, the first mate, the second mate, and then this guy. So we we still have the third and full uh, and fourth mate to identify. There's this guy in a bi in a bicorn over behind the fire uh, the firing line who was clubbed by some dude, and then this guy we have not seen exit the stage. So we can. Well, it stands uh, to reason that this the fourth guy. mate is the lowest ranking officer, so he'd be the one in charge of the execution. How long has that guy yeah. been upload? Which guy? The one standing to the mystery steward. Uh, very good question. The other, my the other mystery steward, rather. <laughs> it's a very good question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gonna yeah. guess that's probably the third mate or the officer. So we're we're going we're going to get I guess that that the guy we haven't seen die yet would be the third mate, which we we can do for now, Martin Perot. Um, which and that that means that the gentleman right, uh, right behind him would be who Roderick Anderson. Yep. Third mate Stewart. 
Okay, we'll go with that for now. And if it turn that turns out to be wrong, we will go from there. Uh, all right. Then, all right. So now we're in the disappearances from the doom. Then we have this gentleman. Bookmark memories. <laughs> and we should be a purser. A terrible beast. Oh. Uh, yeah, and then the the per the purser is so incredible. Like if you guys if you guys weren't weren't here, we were doing our final our final checkpoint before before we we uh we wrapped up la uh, last and time. And I fucking nailed it. Yeah, Mian <laughs> nailed it because because I was, I was he was just he was just like let me let me see him in the sketch. And this guy I'm just looks like, like, a like nerd. okay, sure, here he is here he is in the sketch. And he's like, That's a fucking nerd if I've ever seen one. Who, who's the nerdiest nerd on this ship? He uh, looks like Cyril Figgis, who's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> So we went to the glossary and we looked up everybody and we found the purser and he's just, he's just like, yeah, it's basically the ship's accountant. He's like, he's fucking Cyril Figgis. He's a nerd. That's what happened to him. And the game's just like, congratulations. Three more fates. <laughs> What's oh, our stereotypes. I'm only good at looking at somebody and immediately knowing who they are. Stupid circumstances. Oh my god. I'm not any good at actually solving mysteries. I'm good at making fun of idiots. <laughs> so you're Freddy? That, that's what that's why he's yeah. here, because I'm playing. Oh. Alright, oh. so this this guy. This, yeah, I uh, can't throw cool guy in lava in this game. <laughs> <laughs> so this black oh. gentleman is another seaman because he was present when Samuel Peters died, and he was present when Solomon Syed died. Did we get the guy from? Oh wait, yeah, we already got Sir. Uh, the guy from Sierra Leone. Never mind. Yeah, yep. yeah. So uh, that that was that is this this guy is definitely an Englishman. Um, but, 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 what do we got? So we have a seaman. So we have Alexander Booth and George Shirley. Didn't you go looking around at the the hammocks and decide you couldn't find one of these numbers? Well, let's Surely, take, let's take a look at that. We have fifty seven and fifty nine. Let's go look and see if we have <laughs> Wait a minute. these things here. Yeah, we've got fifty seven. Definitely found fifty seven. There's fifty eight. Can we find fifty nine? Fifty nine. I'm calling your name. What 59. kind of shoes are they wearing? 59. 59 is present. We can oh, do some, it is. We can do do some shoe action though. Yes. 59 has oh. uh has some sweet got black some shoes. Very Englishman legs. Well, sort yeah. of, sort of. I guess 57 is uh, 57 is is Those sleeping real deep. Shoes. There's nothing going on there. Yep. <laughs> Hidden feet. All right, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over to 57 or 59 rather. There is there is some awesome shoes there, and we're gonna go find another another memory with this gentleman in it. Oh, I, I love this game. This game is great. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. Cargo, cargo uh, deck is a good one. We need to see the shoes. Those almost look like the type of shoes that you have like Velcro closed. <laughs> it exist back That's then. a good way to put it. Yeah. I like how the game is like, solve this mystery. We're like, what color is this asshole? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes looking at buttholes is, is the, the, only, the only option, all right? All right. Let's he's got 30 this. rings. That means he's the first mate. <laughs> all right. Hang on. I found, I found our black gentleman. Up. Do, you, do, do we think? Do we 59. think? Okay, we th we're thinking fifty nine. We think he's number fifty nine then. Yeah. He's he not the wearing shoes. very English, English buckle shoes. No, yeah. those aren't them. Those aren't those them. Those are the. Yeah. Okay then. So you, the we, we said he was fifty nine. George Shirley. Yeah. Okay. Put that in there. We have this gentleman with the striped shirt. Let's bookmark those memories. And he was definitely drowned by not an unknown officer. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> drowned by Captain Robert Riddle. <laughs> Riddle. So he's also, also present here when Samuel Peters died. 
but he is not present when Solomon Syed died. Crushed by poison. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is this is Zungi's killer for what it's worth. So if we nail we nail mm. this, then that that's that's pretty important. Um so Yeah, we can't let somebody in this boat get away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so he's he's basically pre uh, present during uh, during the capture of the mermaids. He up uh, he is actually present when Huang Li died, but that is interesting mm -hmm. because uh, because we don't have any more topmen. Mm. We've identified all of the topmen yes. actually. Yay! So that doesn't help us. Oh, uh. <laughs> that's uh. Can we see the crew roster crew sure. manifest and see if there's any suspicious positions? Well, we that have might stand up the crew, yes. and we have not identified the fourth mate, the bosun's mate, uh, the gunner's mate. I'm pretty sure the fourth mate's the one at the gun crew, the guy with the hat. The yeah, no, he like, mm -hmm. like this, this, the, uh, this guy. The this guy has a striped shirt, table. not a hat, so. He's definitely definitely not that. The gun the gunner's mate sure does a hat. Is another one. Um Philip Dahl, we've already identified. Davy James, we've already we, A lame we, shirt. Is he a gun is he the gunner's mate? Because I don't know. Uh Gunner's that mate is from of, Poland. Kind of I don't know. I don't have any So uh, are you uh, saying Poland is lame? <laughs> <laughs> I mean I we're not so many words. <laughs> 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 he did not say that Poland was lame. Well, Poor okay, Poland. okay. Let, let's let's think about it. Let's think about it this way, guys. I'm going. I'm going back to the glossary for you. If he's not a topman, who the hell would would have any reason to uh, to be up uh, be up in the rigging? And our options. A stowaway. Midshipman. Midship. Midshipman. Is is that yeah. that possibly possibly a thing? Let's go back in to the, the glossary. Midshipman, officer in training, assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. We also have the bosun yep. in charge of um, general crew operations and equipment required to sail the ship. Um, and the only reason I bring that up is because we have the bosun's mate. And then the gunner is a military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. The gunner's job is to hand the guns out. <laughs> and also, also shoot cannon. Gunner, hardly know her. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there, there was, there was that one dude who was dan uh, who was dancing with, uh, with Miss Jackson. He was trying to gun her. The crow's nest would be staffed by a crow. Probably a topman. Yes. It would be, it would be, yeah, it would be probably yes. staffed by uh, staffed by a topman. But you know, I mean, because they're on top of the ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The mo the most the yeah so what we have to decide basically is like it doesn't make any sense for that to, for that to be the gunner's mate to be uh, to be up in the rigging of the sails, so we have to figure out whether it would be a midshipman or a bosun and specifically the bosun's mate. Uh, and the chat seem uh, seems to think that it's the bosun's mate. Yeah, I, I buy that. Make sense. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna trust chat on this one. Kaka indeed. Kaka. All right, so this un the unknown soul, just a really Charles Myers, the bosun's man. mate. So let's let's stick with that. And if that is correct, the Higgs boson. If that <laughs> is correct, that means that. He was shot by Charles Minor. Oh crap! Looks oh, like that's Robo actually Pirates correct. Hey! Yeah! I've got my Higgs boson right here. You, congr congratulations, you've identified Charles Manet. <laughs> he was actually one of the first people I identified. Yeah, oh, if, you're, if you're if you're like this is the hint that I get that I kind of gave you early on in the first stream is that that we were super racist. Well, yes, yes actually, insofar as if you know the tra uh, the traditional um, nationality garb of people at the time, 
you would get you would get Charles Minor immediately because that striped shirt is what French people wore to see. That's just oh, that oh is, I not knew just he that. was French. That's what no, French people wore not to just see. Not just that. That's oh. it. Google French shirt right now. Because yeah. I saw, I know, I saw the stripy results. shirt, and I'm like, that's what a shitty mime would wear. Huh. And, <laughs> dude, and, and where do mimes come from? <laughs> France. <laughs> oh, exactly. Right. This is even better because, like, Brittany knew this because her granddad was a bosun. <laughs> and, uh, I just googled a uh, French shirt. I knew this the, because the uh, second uh, thing is a mime shirt. <laughs> that looks a lot like that guy's uh, outfit. Google is just as I racist as us. My sister wore a stereotypical Frenchman costume for a Halloween several years ago. So we're, oh, we're no longer at racist. We're now in genius. <laughs> <laughs> I am on the boat. One now to, I am dead. One thing to note, folks, is that it didn't it didn't say George Shirley was correct, mm. which means that's actually mm. Alexander Booth. Or perhaps Thomas Lanky. Uh, he might be a midshipman. No, he's actually not, because we confirmed that, uh, yeah. that he was that he was there when yeah. Syed died. And you should know what a midshipman looks like at this point, right? By what they are wear. Okay, so who's yeah, who's we, fancy enough? We totally know what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one left you haven't identified. Process of elimination. All right, we've got we've got this guy now. This dude, this this bearded dude with the amazing hat. Great hat. Oh, that's a hat. sick fucking hat. It's a pretty amazing oh, hat, that. actually. That is a train conductor's hat there. Kind of is. Board. Yeah, he's on the wrong. He's like, shit, I'm lost. <laughs> Where am I, man? <laughs> Why am I here? Tracks are awful wet today. I've been working on the railroad. Oh, no, you haven't, you senile old ocean. shit. <laughs> Hasn't been this wet since Atlantis sunk. Oh. Uh, okay, so still let's, <laughs> let's review what we know about this guy. He it's was... time to shovel coal. <laughs> yeah, Dire directly into the sails. That'll work real yeah. fucking well. <laughs> this That's is how proposals works. Yeah. All right. Science. So this guy, this guy was present when Hawk Sang Lao died. That's not really yeah. news. Uh, present when Thomas Sefton died. So he was present when when people were capturing the mermaids. Uh, he fought in soldiers at sea. He fought in soldiers at sea. He fought in the Doom. He was fighting in the Doom. And he survived the Doom. Oh wow! So. <laughs> Yeah. That's that's most yeah. of what we know. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so we also ha have a little bit more information from him. Um, when he died... Anyone who looks like that... Oh, he got shot by the... Uh... Yeah, I can't remember exactly who he, he got shot by. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to revisit the memory to check. But I thought... May, wait, did the, the captain killed somebody, then hid himself, I thought. Well, I mean, this dude got his face no. shot off by some other dude. Oh no, and he's the one who killed the guy who's trying to scream mutiny. Yes, he. Yes. He's he. This is the cat who uh, who stabbed um who stabbed the guy who later bled out. You are correct. And then when he mm -hmm. died, he it was enough. Captain cannot be trusted. Yes, we take ship and sail east. Trade wretched fish for shells at, uh, and shells for gold. Huh? Who's there? Fresh bastard. That is what he said in his death scene. Wait, what? During the one bit when Peter got blown up, was he carrying up a, a bunch of rifles? Uh, when Peter got blown up, we were wondering if he carried a bunch of rifles. That is a good question. Let's look to uh, to see if he was in that scene. He was. He was oh. in that scene. Let's go look. Let's take a look. Let's go find him. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. There we go. What? What? <laughs> Who would call someone a fresh bastard? Would that be an an Englishman? Uh, it's a good question. We can go. Uh, we can go back and listen very carefully to uh, to his voice uh, after after we check um, his behavior in the Doom. Well, you don't want a stale bastard. <laughs> you don't want a bastard at all. So here's Pete dying. Now where is this guy? 
Ah, yes, okay. We, we, we are seeing him, and it does look like he is carrying three rifles that he is currently falling down all these stairs with. <laughs> I we, warned uh, you, bro! We warned you about stairs, bro! We warned you about stairs! We warned yeah. you, dog! Polish guy. I told you, dog! You did it. Oh, I can't wait to be a piece of shit and shoot all these guns all day! <laughs> <laughs> Just set him up on a streak and pull the uh, trigger a bunch of times. Fuck, it keeps happening! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, on this ship, it does keep happening, and it keeps getting worse. I will never get tired of Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff They're references. So fucking good. Like I, I know, every, I know pe uh, people hate M like like MSPA to, to to some extent, but God, Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff was just a fucking oh, work of art. Much better. <laughs> we do, bro and Hella we do Jeff. need to recheck this guy's uh, this guy's death scene so I can remember who the hell killed him. I'm but... going to do a let's play of me reading Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. <laughs> what is that just, from? Just, just 34 hours of, of Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff over and over and over again. I'm going to, here, I'll, I'll post it in the uh, in the text chat. After the stream, just go ahead and read yourself some Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. <laughs> Alright, you want to be, you want to uh, be quiet for a moment. There you go. So that that got that got you a, a good a good view of his voice. Oh, yeah. Polish guy. Yeah. So we, yeah. we think he's we think he's the Polish guy. That uh, makes sense to me, because that also makes him the gunner's mate. It's a very Polish hat. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So here's my problem. Uh, he was actually he was out uh, was out was actually hit by a guy we haven't identified yet. Uh, but by process of elimination, That's he must the be the fourth mate. Yeah. And, and then how'd the fourth mate die? Uh, clubbed by an unknown attacker, which I'm 99% sure was actually, was actually, um, Brennan. Brennan? Yeah, yeah. wasn't it yeah. Brennan that immediately yeah. came back and clubbed him? <laughs> yeah. 99% yeah. sure that was Brennan, but I'm gonna do the fourth mate here. Oh, this was all the way at the beginning. Which was actually... Added. And then fourth mate was clubbed by Brennan. We at least know that it's Brennan. Oh, there we go. We were right. Yay! That's three more fates How many that. do we have left now? Not many. Like, like we are definitely in the last couple, uh, couple of holes of this golf game. Alexander Booth. Hey. That's Olis Washier. I, I can't pronounce that shit. It's Washer. Oh, it's a... It's well, that W would be a V, wouldn't it? I don't know. Vasier? Hey man. Vishla? Don't, don't don't ask me. I am not educated enough. Walter Vagina died to a headshot gun. <laughs> that, that is pretty. <laughs> that is pretty non-vagina thing to die to. Oh, uh, uh, is right. Okay, so now we've got. He was knifed definitely by the gunner's mate. And then this unknown soul, who depicted it just as a C map. So yeah, I'm gonna say that if you guys see what's up here, you'll probably identify who this last gentleman is. Wait, can you go back to the guy oh, with that's the plaid the hat? Man, isn't it? I mean, there, there's <laughs> the, there's the incredible hat. Like, hold on, I need to I need a good look at that man. It's a pretty incredible hat. <laughs> no, no, not Walter. He was next to Walter. Next to uh, to Walter. To the right of Walter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He had a top hat. Christian, and Christian Wolf. Wolf. Yeah, Christian Wolf, the gunner. <laughs> I just. Oh my God. Yeah, the I needed to just see that face for a second. The the the, the gunnery crew, uh, crew on this ship had their hat game on point. 
Yeah, his yeah. he also has nightmare face. <laughs> yeah, that looks like that. no joke there. <laughs> also, yes, he's like he's standing right next to the midshipman, and he's wearing the same uniform as the midshipman. That is almost certainly Thomas Lanky. The midshipman he looks like are he's all, enjoying almost his job as nerdy as the purser. Man, okay. this uh we got one more dude who managed managed to escape. So let's 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 get a good look at this guy. He is standing right next to the fourth mate and is otherwise surrounded by Winston Smith and Marcus Gibbs. He looks like a bitch. Does the fourth mate have a steward? The fourth mate does have a he steward. Does. Yeah. Yeah, well, he looks like the he looks like the sidekick to the least important mate there. He's got <laughs> He's got a steward outfit, sort of, but it's less fancy than all Davey the Davy James lives. Well, yeah, like I said, he looks like a bitch. Got, got that one right. He, uh, he, he was somebody's bitch on board. And it actually, like validated too, with, right? it actually validated with two fates this time, because we only have two fates left. Ooh. Oh. Yay. Yeah, we're, we're right there, dudes. Okay, so... Whoa. We should be able to get these two pretty easy. You would think. <laughs> so okay, now we've got we got the last guy who got clubbed by um, the captain on his his killing spree. And his first memory is when Solomon Syed died. Mm -hmm. He's one of the Russians. Is he? No, we've got all. We've got all of the Russians, but we only have one seaman left. Oh, so. Well, it's been a rough night. <laughs> well, we've only got one seaman left, but we uh, we also we also have uh, have Lewis Walker identified, and was this guy actually present? I like Fuku's suggestion. Guess what? <laughs> <Do> you... <laughs> yeah. Well, K U S S. Woo! Yeah, no, when, when I when I when I finish the, the, this oh. thing, it's definitely going in like that in the subtitles. So this guy, this guy <laughs> was also present when Where's Huang Li player? died. Hmm. So, so is he the top man, and then the other? He is Where probably is Lewis guy? Walker. And yeah, then the other guy was the seaman. Yeah, where is that? Uh, that is a good question. Where's I now have to go back and figure out where the is. seaman. <laughs> Oh my god. We have where to where the us. hell is this last We have person? to find the seaman! Oh, here we go. We have to go find him. He was the dude who was blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast. George oh, I Shirley. mean, that's what happens to seaman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're usually blasted out of cannons rather than with a cannon. I mean, uh. cannons are involved. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'll speak for myself, but cannons are involved. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Now, all right. If you recall, Lewis Walker and uh, those initial memories, he's actually doing a lot of. He's scrambling. He's doing some shipborne parkour. There is nothing uh, left to do on the Obra Dead. Yep. Out of here. Congratulations, everybody. We've done. We've done everything we set out to do here. Right, Scoob. I'm over and done oh, with oh, this since place. You're here, um, okay. Well, if you oh. skip back into. Uh the current day could you go down into the cannon deck again sure and take a look around uh -oh. can you steal that guy's pipe oh, oh are you here actually you're yeah, gonna no. need where, it where, after you, where this. do you want me to go look for look for a hammock a hammock oh yeah 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 we do, we, do have, we do actually have a couple of hammocks here on the gunnery deck well one it's number 44. check the number that's <laughs> right the last surviving top mid. He still has a hammock on. Because he never <laughs> took it down. Because he's dead now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's oh, how I figured uh, it out. Yeah, you, you nice. know, that, that's, nice. that's one of the, that's one of the thing, uh, things that if you look real close, you can figure out he, uh, here on the, on the Orlock deck is that all of the other hammocks are taken down because all these other MFers are just dead. Yeah. Yep. And typical practice is to, you know, bundle a person up with a hammock and then throw them over. Yep. yep. That's where that's where you get the can uh, the canvas to do all of that I stuff. I did not know that. Huh, neat. Okay. Yeah. I learned something about what to do with dead bodies on the ocean. 
That must have been a real you certainly don't let him frickin' rot on one jack. Alive. Well, that's oh, fair. Also. Now, I know this one is easy to breathe, but do you remember when Emily Jackson shot the Russian Topman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look closely at her hands, you can see one of them, she's wearing a wedding band. Oh! Yeah, that's how you know she's not Miss Jane Bird, because she's married. We should go. Oh. Nice. Yeah, well, let's and get out of here. Do you want to know how Martin, he's actually unblurred very early on for one reason. Because Abigail was talking to him in her memory. Of course, there's no, right. it's not easy for you to tell preci uh, precisely who it is unless you're looking directly at, um, at the sketch. If you're looking directly yes. at the sketch, you can figure it out sim uh, simply because uh, because he's the only one you have data on. But beyond that, there's so many peop uh, people that could be Martin in there that it's just it's 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 weird. Anyway, well, so yeah, he was standing right in front of her, wasn't he? One week later. No, oh, this is new to me. The Honorable East India Trading Company. Insurance assessment for the good ship Oberdin, vi uh, victim of calamitous events at sea. Prepare calamitous them. events. I mean, they, they, that's a pretty good description of what the fuck happened. Can you believe yeah. our insurance adjuster said it was a Kraken? <laughs> <laughs> you, I, 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 want, I want you to pay very close atten attention to all 23 pages of, the, of this insurance claim because... Uh, because yeah. It reveals a fair bit. Cargo company All and cargo, cargo crown. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crown and company. Oh, murder of poor crewmate. They estate had a coming. Estate forfeited to the crown. Ooh, that's rough. Oh my yep. god. Estate oh, fine. Oh, they done wow. the captain dirty. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, in all fairness, he did shoot himself. Uh. They were co technically correct. <laughs> they awarded Alfred Kleistel estate seventy pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because because he was torn apart by a beast, and it's just, uh, just like you, this is basically the performance it's beast. basically the EIC giving him the Purple Heart. Uh, you died horribly. Congrats. <laughs> oh, place yourself. Here's seventy pounds. Oh, Charles Monet, murder of crewmate one. Yeah, because because he accidentally shot the uh, the other guy. Yeah. But then then you have Hen uh, Henry Evans. This is the greatest thing: finding of the demerit, <laughs> abandonment of crew and vessel. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yes. wow. oh, he got paid. Yep. Then oh yeah no Win Winston Smith and Mar uh, Marcus Marcus Gibbs Winston Smith. Findings of merit, extraordinary valor. You fucking bet that dude went down hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why he was the boss. That's Struck why tail. he was the boss. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Tail. Email O'Farrell, exception, exceptional performance of duties. <laughs> Christian Wolf, fate, shot, cannon, beast. <laughs> 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 The, the, his, his, man, oh, his I, mate, I his mate, criminal findings, this murder is. of crewmate, attempted mutiny, estate findings. Fate. <laughs> I like fate. Oh, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love how they're not downing it. Oh yeah, no, a kraken did it. We, we, we get it. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> here's, here's this an even greater all one. The time. So you, you remember Duncan McKay, our, our, uh, our, our, Cyr our Cyril Figgis? Yeah. He got drowned yeah. by a beast by getting pulled overboard. Findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly, oh, no. that is exactly no. what would happen to okay, Cyril. No, he, no. I, I'm going to explain this one. It may have been overlooked, but I do believe in the memory where Nathan Peters talking is about to kill Lars Linda, mm -hmm. he's actually in the boat yeah, he, with his yeah. books and notes uh, along with oh, yeah. it's a like, like, but that's not that's not abandonment, that's attempted abandonment <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, was he in the now. boat when he died? No, abandonment <laughs> pretty much this is I do believe the, uh, the disappeared people in the doom are the unidentifiable silhouettes 
falling from the lifeboat that's being flipped over in the sky. By Man, Tentacles. Emily Jackson's gonna have a nice surprise when she gets back. <laughs> Wait, she's a passenger. How could she? How could she abandon the crew? <laughs> This is, really good question. this is even better. This is even better. Miss Jane Bird. Findings of Demerit. <laughs> abandonment of crew and vessel. Estate fine 10 pounds. What? She, she was a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> She's also a servant. What estate does she have? Uh, I don't understand. Yeah. Fate alive. Africa. And yeah, oh, and then, then thinks, they, yeah. they still they still find Chio Tan. Uh, oh no, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm I'm sorry. My bad. I, like, I I got Chiotan mixed up with Hok Seng Lao. No claim made. <laughs> no claim God. made. Not even Poor awarded guy. a claim for wrongful death. Yeah. Philip Dahl, fate unknown. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate, no claim made. It needs to be said, Chiotan, despite shooting uh, that one guy, actually his estate got paid. Yep. Don't understand how that happened. Oh, no, wait, no, no. Is exp expense claimed. A cl uh, a state awarded outstand outstanding wages is the claim. If expense cl uh, claimed is is just like how much how much the crime. Oh, costs okay. Uh, yeah. If, okay. if the company's paying it out, then it says claim number in a box. Mm -hmm. Like Samuel Gal uh, uh, Galligan, okay. second mate steward, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, estate fined fifty pounds. That's right. Forty five. You stole a scale. <laughs> I mean, the scales to a certain degree were part of the entire reason they were being pursued by mermaids who never missed Carm Day. That's true. Of course, da no Davy for Davy James. That's because that's because, <laughs> because ostensibly he had ten pounds in outstanding Wait. wages. He ostensibly had ten pounds in outstanding wages, which offset the ten of the ten pounds that Miss Jane Bird got fined for abandoning the ship, even though you know she was a fucking passenger. <laughs> Nah, he just went back to the locker. His friend Jerkins. Like, like, this is the EIC, folks. The closest thing to a Shadowrun corporation that has ever existed. That's pretty I true. Just say, uh, Eldridge yeah. Abomination. But that works uh, too. Shotgun E Nichols. Yep. A <laughs> lot of E Nichols fates. Yeah. Speared Beast. Oh my god, yeah, no, no, no. Every, everybody just needs to drink in Maba's. <laughs> oh god. Ma, uh, Maba's, oh. Maba's link. Extraordinary oh. valor. Exceptional. Dude. Maba. Oh. Maba. Like, it should, it should have his name, like, it should have a, the wrong name scratched out and then Maba <laughs> written next to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're gonna go that way, there'd be at least four other names scratched out. <laughs> <laughs> like, just an entire page of misspellings of the wrong answers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nathan <laughs> <laughs> Peters, yep, yep, yep. Ars Linda, clubbed by Nathan Peters. Yep. John Naple... Yeah, John uh, John Naples also got I uh, got paid pretty well for exceptional performance of duty, getting his leg cut off. That happened. What about yeah, the guy who died taking a shit? How much money did he get? No, uh, I don't think that. Have I seen the artist yet? I don't. The artist, no, I, I must have gone yeah. past it already. I'm going going back to find uh, to finding find the artist. Hang on, hang on. I think I think his thing was just crushed beast or <laughs> something. It was uh, really boring. <laughs> Edward Spratt, no artist, detail. crushed beast, estate awarded outstanding with uh, wages fifty pounds. <laughs> oh wow! Really good. Oh, uh, actually, what was E Nichols' uh, uh, fifty pounds street. to take a shit? That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, no that's joke. a big shit. Uh, and then Nichols, Nichols, we'll go back and check and check Nichols real quick. Uh, fate shotgun by uh, by Tan. Criminal findings: murder of crewmate. Uh, two. two counts, <laughs> attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, estate fined 100 pounds. Damn, Ooh. that's great. <laughs> and dude, like, the dude just got ruined. Yeah, what happened to the monkey? Uh, that is a very good question. I'm about to have a very oh, good answer for you a on monkey. that. I'm about to have a very good answer for you all on that. That's terrifying. Alive in Africa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Preliminary draft of this assessment has been approved by the Royal Trade Guarantor. Total claimed twenty nine thousand two hundred and eighty five pounds. On behalf of the Ooh. Honorable East India Company, I certify all the statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. 
H E I C Chief Inspector. Yes. Well, <laughs> Anna Graham. Pocket watch remains in your possession. Returns to its original oh, owner, Henry okay. Evans, in Morocco, as requested. <laughs> yes, Wilson is right. Honorable. Honorable is definitely the hugest joke in that entire that entire report. Like every, everybody else getting their shit ruined by everything. That's pretty funny, but but calling the EIC honorable is uh, that's a bar above. All right, one year later. In our well, study. if he doesn't want to get hit by the company's anti-defamation laws, where if you think about them wrong, they come after you. Yeah. Oh, somebody's knocking oh, at the door. Oh. oh. Hello. Oh no. Drink your tea. Just a single yes. cup. Wow, this is the most British fucking house I've ever seen. It's nice. Somebody delivering us a package during uh, during quite the storm. People talking. Uh, judges can be honorable, but lots of it, that's just oh, that's just a type. Oh. Well then, we got us a package. Well, and that smells bad. I wonder why that is. I hope it's just a mermaid head. Well, Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He is very pleased with your correspondence and has asked that in his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Obra Dinn is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards. Game bird. That's nice. Well, huh. that's huh. fair. Well, <laughs> you know, got the book back. This tale belongs to you now. Please finish it, Henry Evans. But he didn't mail us the monkey. Or did he? Oh uh -huh, well. What? What? Was the monkey the delivery man? Ah! Uh, monkey paw! Enough. People! Uh, what? <laughs> uh, it's dead people time, time, everybody! Oh! It's got fly. He shipped it with flies? The monkey. Yeah. Monkey. He shot oh. the monkey. <laughs> he shot the monkey. Henry Evans oh. knew exactly okay. how that uh, how that whip, or how that watch works, and he shot his monkey to give us an in back to this moment. Nice. That is pretty clever. Damn. Well, he did Henry. give us the watch in the first place. That's true. He also has good aim that he fucking like midair snipe that monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Those little shits are quick. And vicious. In the lazarette. The monkey's paw. A friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. <laughs> not entirely pleasant. <laughs> now you just need to turn it into a handy glory and Warp reality. A hundred and four others were present? No. What? Two others were present. It's page 104. Oh, well, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on in this boat? I'm so confused. Oh, my God. The, all, of, all of a sudden, the boat just uh, just turns into, into the TARDIS, and this is now a Doctor Who episode. I just thought maybe there are a lot of mermaids around. 
<laughs> uh, I'm good at this. <laughs> and I did make a Dr. Oh. No joke. <laughs> oh boy. So now we get we get to check these other bodies that we saw. A third shell. The captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. But we left it. Main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when you leave. <coughs> Get the tail, boy. We return to the ship. New Britain. This would be the third mate that, uh, that we, we couldn't find. Uh, well. Hmm. I think that's white. Oh, so they're taking the mermaid back out with the shell and releasing it. Uh. And, the, and the bargain is that in exchange for, uh, for releasing her, she guides the Oberdin home. Eventually, <laughs> you guys did notice that uh, that I, I saw I saw a suspicious shiny over on the horizon. Oh, yeah. so the shiny yeah. was leading it home. That would that would be that would be yep. the uh, the mermaid keeping her end of the bargain. Technically true. The ship made its way oh, home. She just gave it an extra six months, maybe. Hey man, he didn't. I mean, he didn't say. He didn't say that it had to be tomorrow. He didn't. Or that it had to, didn't had to have, have crew. They all kill each other at the end. Yeah, I mean, she didn't. She didn't have. He was not like protect the crew. He only talked to the ship, and the ship got there. Yep. Let's be honest. They probably would have killed each other anyway. The chunk of wood that makes up the ship oh, got there. people time. Captain yeah. getting his murder on. Captain, I give a fuck. He's doing Link's down A from Smash Bros. <laughs> it's, an, it's exactly yeah. as devastating here as it is in that game. Oh. It also needs to be said that uh, the course we went off this time was the uh, the mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. The the the, the, the game will point that out. So yes, th this particular one, there's not really anything to do because only one other person was present. A captured beast fought against its jailer and was speared for the trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the captain's fucking people up over here. We've got another mermaid, uh, mermaid over here. Does that add or subtract the amount of money that he was buying? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Dead people oh. time. Jeez, Captain! You can see you can see uh, how the the mermaid was trying to claws his leg off up in there when he when he yeah. shot her. So wait, the mermaid they pulled back out to release? She wasn't spiky though. Well, she wasn't obviously spiky, but they they were they were showing her belly up. You always see their spikes on their their dorsal side. Oh, okay, that's fair. They all yeah, you reach back there. Yeah, they're they're like flying fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really mermaid for lack of a better term. 
They also seem to pull the spikes of the throw, actually, from back. So they have their own store of javelins. If the Lazaret and unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. Man. Yeah. I have to say, the this cat is just the guarding best stance is interesting. Alright. Now, finally get to look at this, uh, this other corpse with the, the shell on it. Dead people time. Quicksilver? Huh. Mercury. Uh, Mercury. He thought it was Mercury, but uh, yeah. it certainly didn't act that way. No, it, uh, uh, it fried him. Yeah. That's uh, exactly what happened to Itbang Sia, only, you know, he didn't, he didn't try, uh, try to reach in there and grab a shell. So is that, is that thing just full of hate? Yeah. <laughs> that is a very good question that actually I can't answer. <laughs> it kind of seems it's like the it. Ark of the Covenant, but for fishes. It's just a puzzle box a couple hundred years early. <laughs> Are you Wait, telling me this know? thing is like the puzzle box in the Shrine of the Silver Monkey? Oh my yes. god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So many fucking memories of, of Legend of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> oh, those poor kids! No. Those oh. poor kids. Oh. No wonder they didn't let anybody win that game. They would have been roasted to death. <laughs> oh. The giant stone head was just looking for sacrifices. <laughs> I hope you're bad at geography, kid, or you're fucking dead. The only time, the time where ignorance really is bliss, and also life. There we go. All right, folks. That's it. That does it. That is all the fates of the Oprah Din solved. Uh. Nice. <laughs> well, well, we're out of here. So, uh, well, that was really interesting. Can, no we put the, can we put the monkey's paw in the garbage now, please? I really <laughs> feel like that needs to happen, but we, we unfortunately fade to black before we get that particular pleasure. Is that a Chaos Emerald? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looks like it. Uh, more insurance. Oh. More history. Turn, it turns out that being an insurance adjuster pays really well. <laughs> you were the ultimate life form all along. Out that one time. <laughs> you were just pretending to use the watch. It was actually Chaos Control. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Paragon is pointing out that the game also accepts poison as a cause for the Captain Stewart's death. Which makes sense if that's that's Mercury. Just, that's, yeah. that's pretty silly for you. But yeah, I know, like, this, this, this is an amazing game. Like, I, I, like, Pope, Lucas Pope was, was really blatant about, about this. It's just, just like, I'm pretty sure that, that, that there's going to be a bunch of people who aren't necessarily going to like this game, so if you just want to want to return it after you're done with it, you know, you can just freaking do that. No hard feelings. And the game was, game was amazing, Pope. Game was amazing. Good video game. The yeah. good video game. Holy cow. I still wish he had used, uh, used like, like the Mad World aesthetic ra uh, rather than the one-bit aesthetic because looking at, at the at the screen gets really hard after a while. But, you know, beyond that, just zero complaints. Yeah, Voltic Surge is right. The Inspector Man was actually Gerard Robotnik. <laughs> 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 after being an insurance and adjuster, he went on to create the Space Station Arc. Oh, I can believe it. Yeah. Oh, man. 
This is actually a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> as, long, as long as I don't have to deal with Rouge the Bat soaring across the moon, I'll be fine. What, you didn't like Rouge's levels and getting lost in space? No. In a world. You didn't, you didn't like 20 minutes of smooth jazz as you had a bat with huge titties get lost in an asteroid field? The smooth jazz was the nice part. The other, the other portion of it just ruined the experience there. I think I need also some, like, dirty jazz for me. Oh, man. My head hurts a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last That's focus, all the focus fun. really hard on this game, so the second you let up, it's just like, oh. My <laughs> uh, head hurts now. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's freaking brilliant. Absolutely yeah. wow. I'm just impressed that Pop Tarts actually kept genuine notes. <laughs> yeah, totally I should be surprised, though. Let's play, all right? Yeah, Hold we it. wouldn't have gotten through this nearly as quickly. Yeah. Uh, if I hadn't remembered what shoes people were wearing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like we would have, we yes. would have been go going back and forth through all of that nonsense for a long ass time. Yeah. I, I really like. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Shoes and hammock uh, numbers were like our salvation for this. <laughs> there, and there you go, Shoes folks. Total, of the inner sphere. total play time, 5 hours and 37 minutes. Yeah. Last, Ooh, last hey. play let's go. Hey. 60 fades solved. Hey. So. Good job, everybody. You there did. you go. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me uh, Whoa, uh, through this experience. Yo, check yeah. out what Brittany just posted. Let it be known that 90 pounds is about $10,404.68 in the USD. Wow. Oh. Damn. So, yeah, we were dealing with some serious cash there. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I bet $10,000 would weigh about 90 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much more true than false. Yeah. Uh. All oh, right, no, uh, Victor, I, we're not into that. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 co we covered a lot of ground, but that, that particular we covered a lot of ground, but we'll, we'll pass on that. Thank you. Pa a pass on, pass on inflation. <laughs> All right, I mean, we were talking Thank about you. Rouge the Bat, but still. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 All right, you lot. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming along. This is this was the best uh, way for me to enjoy this game again after after beating it myself. So oh, this I was lots of fun. I appreciate oh, each and every me. single oh, one of you. Again, Lucas Pope, you're out there. Freaking love you for making this stuff, brother. Keep doing how you do. Everybody in chat, I love you too. Just keep being you as well. Yeah. All okay. right. Well, until until we uh, we until we see you again on Monday for more Neo. Take good care of yourselves, folks. Look out, it's a Kraken. Bye, everybody. <laughs> oh, no. See ya. <laughs>